Hello, everybody. It's episode 13 of the AEW Draft Series. I'm Swarles. I'm here with Nick. Nick, what's going on? Hello. I'm, uh, I'm very, very excited to not have to book a pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Because that was joint pay-per-views were killing us, and we made the correct decision last stream. Right. Well, we probably won't book any pay-per-views at all this stream, but... Oh. Oh, 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 uh, oh what? <laughs> no. I like, I like how you threw out plans that you had because you thought I had a pay-per-view. It was a blank piece of paper. <laughs> no, but just like the idea that you did that. Like you, are you, are you going to like cross program me the week I have a pay-per-view? Like this is SmackDown versus Raw GM mode. Look, listen, I got a bunch of cards here that I'm waiting to play. <laughs> All right. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're a couple days away from Dynamite here, so we'll just get going. Skiff, do you know Marcus Smathers? Did I call you Skiff? You just called me Skiff, yes. Fuck, sorry. I thought he was in the chat. I looked at the chat like... No, oh, Skiff, Skiff knows Marcus Smathers. That's probably why I said that. I do not. Okay. Yeah. Do I? Wait. No, you don't. It's just a joke. It's just a joke, but then I fucked it up by calling you the wrong name. You don't think he worked the GCW show I was at? Oh, he you know what? He might have. Yeah, that's why, like, the name is familiar. Yeah. Well, it's also familiar because it sounds like Marshall Mathers. <laughs> I'm sure that is why he chose that. Yeah. I mean, was born with that name. All right, Nick, here's Zach's uh, question of the day. If you could turn any mythological creature into a dream husband or wife, what would you choose and why? Why? Question's furry. You're, uh, yeah, that's... I don't I don't know if I have an answer for this question. I've not... Th- I, yeah, human. What's, what's a mythical creature that looks a lot like a human? Like, like a centaur. And then the way I would transform them is by making them a full human. <laughs> that's the answer to that question. <laughs> Wait, if I pick a god, does that mean I get to be a god because I pick a god? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay, I pick a... Why is Kyle O'Reilly bonding with Bobby Beverly? I don't... Kyle's doing indies, I guess. I don't know. Kyle, stop it. (laughs) You're going to get hurt again. Uh, Maybe we booked Bobby Beverly on this house show that drew 200 people in New Mexico. I don't know why we would do that, but I don't I don't know why we do anything with our house shows. Yeah, I don't know what what we're doing. I don't know why we do house shows. They AEW should be set to not do them. Here's the thing. Yes, but also I would then turn them on, so I'm just gonna leave it. Wow. Yeah. I would say any woman that wants to be my wife is technically a myth. Ayo. Oh yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. Listen, it's rough out there. Uh, Rina Yamashita has left Ice Ribbon. That makes sense. She's like, I'm a big American star now. Y'all suck. It- Y'all suck. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dynamite, RP Funding Center. I think that's where you just had Collision. I think so, too. So yeah. I'm not going to run there. Oh, oh, Dustin. Oh, no. oh Dustin. Uh, oh, waffle. oh, Waffle Bar. The awful Waffle Bar. <laughs> Very on brand. Very on brand. God damn, Kentucky gentleman opened a Waffle House. <laughs> Love that for him. All right, let's uh, yeah, let's go over what we did last week here. We set up Kenny as the number one contender for Brock in the main event. He beat Konosuke. That also makes the feud with Konosuke one one. Uh, for those keeping track at home, uh, Hangman was of course in his corner. Uh, Chris hit Maki Ito with a chair and a six person tag. Uh, we're doing stuff with these with <laughs> these guys. Uh, Dan Garcia. Oh, I gotta like redo the Dan Garcia technical masterclass match. We gotta, we gotta do that right. But first, let's uh, decide what we're doing this show. 
Where haven't we been in a while? Eh, we do a pretty good job about getting around. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere we haven't been apart from, like, outside of the country. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to the Midwest. I want to I wanna run not to Chicago, though. Mayo Civic Center. Where, where is that? Rochester, Minnesota. Great. I am resisting. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me, give me your mayonnaise jokes. I mean, it makes sense that it'd be in Minnesota. It's so white there. Mm -hmm. All right. Take that, Minnesotans. Because of the snow? <laughs> of course. Uh, all right. Kenny Omega is going to come out. And he's going to be like, oh, I'm the number one contender now. I can't wait. You know, Brock Lesnar is going to be the biggest challenge of my career. But, uh, you know, I've always overcome my challenges. I'm, I'm the best wrestler in the world, etc., etc. Brock Lesnar is going to come out. Real real boilerplate stuff here. And then Brock Lesnar is going to just basically be like, I don't give a shit that you're the best wrestler in the world. Um, I, I don't care about the best bout machine. I don't care about six stars. Uh, you know, when we get in the ring at full gear... I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, and then Kenny's going to fire back and be like, well, what, what, why do we, why do we got to wait till full gear? I know, I listen, I know you're just bit Mr. Part-time wrestler, uh, you know, but you know, listen, around here in AEW, we love doing tag matches, love doing tag matches. I got all kinds of friends back there that work with me. I'm sure you could have, oh, what, you don't have any friends to do a tag match, do you, Brock? Hmm. Yeah, that's too bad, isn't it? Uh, you know, I'll give you a full week. I'll give you a full week. Next next week, see if you could come up with a tag team partner. For me, Kenny... for me and my partner, Kota Ibushi. Is Kenny saying that to Brock or to the booking team? He's saying that to Brock Lesnar. Also, I love the idea of Brock not being able to find a team in Minnesota where he played for the Vikings. I don't think Brock has friends anywhere, to be fair. True. <laughs> but if we could get Dante Culpepper out. <laughs> Dante Culpepper. All right. And then this, this long talking segment is then going to spark two more talking segments later. Are you sure this isn't Collision? Uh-huh. Hmm. Where Kenny is going to be talking to Coda about, like, the match next week. He's going to be like, yeah, I'm not. Listen, it, it'll probably be a handicap match, Coda. We got this. Uh, and then, of course, Hangman is going to come in and be like, oh, yeah, man, congrats. Con uh, you know, uh, cool cool promo, cool cool challenge of Brock to the match. Um you know, I was your in your quarter last week. I had your back. Uh, and, you know, I, I stopped Don from cheating on behalf of the Keshta. You know, I, I just kind of thought you would have made me your tag partner. And then Kenny's going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah, listen. I, I, I would have loved to make my tag partner. But, listen, me and you are really great friends. But me and Coda, we're, you know, it, it's a different kind of friend, you know? I don't think they've ever just said on AEW TV that, like, we fuck, but I, I guess I'll, like, get up to that as close as I can here with hey, Kenny and Coda. Uh, yeah, we're good friends, but uh, we ain't fucking. Yeah, we we are extremely good friends. We, uh, very close. He's yes. He's more than a brother to me. We are friends in the ancient Roman way. <laughs> hey, Kenny's partner. Kenny explains why he chose Coda. Uh, did I put? Yeah, I should. I want to. I should do Adam Page off screen. And then uh, to advance the storyline, I'm going to put Takeshita off screen here, too. Uh, then we're going to do another angle later. 
I probably could save this to next week, but we'll just do it. We'll we'll give the people a week of hype for this match. Brock backstage. Goes up to Darby and Sting. Who else would he go up to? And he's going to go up to Darby and be like, Listen, I I hate to come ask someone for help. Because I probably could take those two, one, two on one. But, you know, you, you were in my respect in our match. I... Tr you're the only person in this roster, in this locker room I trust, or really even know. So, uh, do you want to be my tag partner next week? And then Sting's gonna be like, "Hold on now, Darby, think about this. I, I've made this mistake many times in my career. Don't just jump into this." And then Brock's gonna be like, "Will you, what, 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 what would my game plan even be here? Calm down, old man." And then Darby's just gonna be like. I got your back. So Darby will team. I think, with I think Brock. Darby would fill Brock's entire back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 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 cover half of your back. I got a part of you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. All right. We should book some wrestling on this show. Um. That's good. That's the sure. thought. Yeah, we should do that. All right, we're going to redo the Danny Garcia having a technical match thing, because I just want to see how that goes. Uh, we're, we're not going to book him against uh, Rocky again. We're not going to literally just run it back, so we'll just pick another good technical wrestler. Eh, Daniels isn't bad, but I would like someone better than that. Carpenter. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, it probably would have. Yeah, Rocky. Daniels isn't that much low, lower than Rocky. It probably could be him. Yeah, let's do Chris Daniels. Oh, God. Can he go 15 minutes? He's 52 years old. Does it have to be 15? Oh, yes, right. that was the mistake we made last week, Nick. I immediately remembered. Yeah. Hey, Daredevil. What's up, Daredevil? Uh, maybe I'll just put him against a heel and say fuck it, you know? Also, I have, like, the entire BCC. Those guys are all heels. <laughs> Hell, Jake Hager is decently tactical. Oh, my God. That could be the match. Him and Big Jake. The match. That's the match. So much history. So much, so much so much history. Yeah, that's the match. Fucking Danny Garcia and Jake Hager in a technical masterclass. I'm winning this week, boys. Uh looking at what I've booked so far, you probably still <laughs> are. And then I want to do an angle after that. Where uh, Garcia goes to shake Jake's hand. Like, hey, man, you know, good match, bro. Because, you know, they had a technical master class. It wasn't like a hard-hitting match or anything. They are out there wrestling. And, like, Hager's going to go to uh, shake his hand. And then Chris is going to come storming out and be like, Do not shake his hand! Do not! Jake, you do! Get out of there! And then he's, you know, he's going to get in the ring and get in... Uh, no, no microphones. Just, like, getting in his face like, You disobeyed me again, Garcia! We're supposed to be a tag team! And then Garcia's just gonna, like, brush him off and leave. Jericho ruins handshake. What a heel. This man's running the fucking, uh, developmental company over here. Handshakes. Uh-huh. This is Ring of Honor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well. Uh. I thought we killed that company. Nope, it's still going. Man, everything I have booked this week is angles. Although, we could make a main event out of this. Alright. Danielson's gonna come out. And he's gonna be like, Johnny Gargano. You know, you didn't have to attack me. You, if you would've just told me you were coming in, I would've given you a title shot. Because I do want to wrestle you. People did say you were the best wrestler in the world. For a little bit. For, for a year or two, people would say that. Uh, people have been saying that about me. For like a decade, 
Uh, you know, I, that's part of what being the best is, is the continuation of how good you've been. You know, I've seen guys like you come in, you, Will Ospreay, people say they're the best in the world for a year or two, but it never lasts, does it? And then Gargano's gonna come out. And this is where Johnny Gargano gets to do his, like, post-WWE, they haven't been letting me wrestle, this is where the real wrestlers wrestle promo, you know, you know that shit. Even though he's... Wait, no, Dan, yeah, yeah. Listen, he's been losing to Omos on TV. That, this, he's, he's got a point here. Uh, I mean, that's letting him wrestle. <laughs> Just losing. <laughs> yeah, not, not how he wants. Anyway, this is going to set up our main event tag match, which will be Brian and Claudio against Gargano and uh, Orange Cassidy. Main event. Uh, I need to go to our storylines. Brock Darby. Brock, well, Brock and Darby is kind of still going. Uh, Ooh, I should pay attention to this because yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Danielson Gar. I added Gargano to uh, Danielson Orange Cassidy. Good, good, good. Okay. Kenny versus Talk. Oh, that's that is still going. Uh, I would like to add Jericho Garcia. No, not not Danhausen. Mamma mia. And then I was going to come in here and start Gargano and uh, Danielson, but I added him to the Orange Cassidy one, so that's fine. He lost to Omos at a house show IRL. Well, at least that was a... At least it was a house show. No, no one saw it. I don't... I think I might just let this main event really cook, because I don't know how many matches I'm going to have, so maybe... The, you know, to get the percentage on my side, I'll just book a long main event, you know? So we'll do Mr. Gargano and Mr. Cassidy against Brian and Claudio. Uh, weird that it said two versus two instead of best friends versus Blackpool Comic Club. I guess that's too long. Uh, we have... Gargano has to win. It's his debut in the company. And he will beat Claudio to, to keep the match hot. Um, I don't want to really give this the storytelling note, so I'm just, I'm just going to let these guys cook. Which means, at the very least, we need two other match aim matches. Oh, no, Danny Garcia and Hager. Well, yeah, no, I need two more, I need two more. I really need to focus on matches. Talk's not doing anything this week. Talk could just win a match. Uh, Oh, he got a promo too. Young Bucks aren't doing anything. Young Bucks didn't do anything last week either. Let's give the Young Bucks a steal the show match. We'll do Matt and Nick. Taking on, oh, I don't know. Cash versus local jobber in a, in a steal the show match. Uh, I've already done them versus the kingdom. Have I have I just done them versus the Australians? Like surely I've done that, right? I think you have, right? No, not in a straight up tag. Well then. Well then. Uh, Y'all go crazy. Uh, Matt, sure. That's a match. Uh, uh, 
And then we need one more. Keith Lee, Eddie Kingston versus Ortiz. I don't think Bandito brawls. Well, he's not terrible at it. Although he's not good. Although I know Santana and Roosh would be good. Although I've, I'm sure I've done this exact match. I have not done this exact match. Huh. Huh. Yeah, we're learning things here. So these guys are going to go out there and go crazy. We are going to, hmm, hmm. I want, let's give Santana the win. Let's give him a cheap win, a tainted win. Not a cheap win, a tainted win. And then I'm going to do a promo with them afterwards. Where, you know, Eddie's all pissed that he cheated and he's getting in Santana's face again. And then Ortiz is going to come out. And he's basically just going to be like, listen, enough of this. We've been at each other's throats for weeks now. We're supposed to be brothers. We're supposed to be friends. This is now Brothers Act. We got to settle this once and for all. Full gear. The three of us in one ring. Let's squash this beef. We've got like 15 more minutes. Oh, I haven't done it. I haven't done the women yet. Uh, though I know exactly what I'm doing with them with the angle I want. Uh, this is going to be Chris Statlander being interviewed by, I don't know, whoever. And, uh, you know, it's, it's her being interviewed backstage. And they're going to be like, Chris Statlander... Last, you know, you, you you said you didn't turn your back on Yuka, you never liked her, and uh, that, you, you know, you weren't the bad guy. But last week, you, you just you just hit Maki Ito with a chair on, on purpose. What, explain your actions. And then she's going to be like, listen, if you think I thought Yuka Sakazaki was annoying, you don't think I find Maki Ito annoying too? Of course I do. And she was pissing me off during that match. She, she, she was getting under my skin. I... I'm not the bad guy, okay? Maki Ito, she was pushing my buttons. And listen, did I waffle her with a chair? Maybe. And then as this is happening, uh, I don't I don't know where this is being filmed, but I, in my in my vision, a door flies open. Uh, and then Maki Ito is carrying, like, a, a kendo stick or something, and then she just, like, points at Statlander, and she's like, I'll fucking kill you! And then she charges her and, like, you know, get, gets a shot in on Chris with it, and then Chris just, like, runs away. Chris Statlander, you think? It's just Bob Holly. It's the don't piss me off gimmick. It, no, it, it's less don't piss me off and more just, like, everyone else is wrong. It's not me. Everyone else is annoying, and... To a certain section of the internet, they're probably like, you know what, Chris Statlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are definitely people who are like, finally, someone talking about how annoying these Joshi are. Chris Statlander is a national hero. <laughs> uh, and then we should probably let the women have a match, and then that's probably the show. Uh, I've been trying to heat up that heel team of Deeb. You know, maybe we could just do a singles. We'll just do a, We'll do this old chestnut. We'll do uh, Riho versus uh, Athena. 
give them 10 minutes. I have not done them in a straight up singles match. Sick. And uh, Athena will get the win. With interference from the dastardly Serena Deeb. Oh, we have one minute. Actually, that's good that we have one minute because we didn't do, we didn't do anything about that trios title match really. So what we're, we're gonna have Jake Roberts and Chuck and Trent and Big Bill and Orange Cassidy's getting ready for his match, I guess. Uh, and Gargano. Actually, you know what? They should probably be there because he's gonna be like, "Hey, Gargano! Hey, hey! I remember this guy." Also, them being there will help to score. But basically, it's just going to be these guys cutting a promo being like, last week, we were, we were trying to do our patented entertaining promo, and these BCC jerks attacked us from behind. Now, we don't have a match with them tonight, but Gargano and Cassidy, you guys do. So... We, we want you to go out there and show them what the best friends are all about. And then Orange Cassidy's going to be like, all right. <laughs> and then Gargano's going to be like, yeah, I don't, I mean, I just got here, so I don't really know what the beef is, but like, I, yeah, I, I guess. And then, you know, Dustin will just be like, yeah, you, you guys are going to kill him. You're going to kill him. Jake, basically, Jake and Chuck are going to be really into the idea that they're going to like hurt the BCC. Uh, and then these guys are going to be like, yeah, all right, man. <laughs> sure. To kill the... You know, they win that match, so it does work. All right, that's our show. They have been on quite a streak since, uh, the, the, since Jake has gotten there. The tutelage of Jake the Snake Roberts. All right. All right, we're definitely opening. Actually, we're opening with this Kenny promo. Actually, what we really need to do is just move these two things. So Rio and Athena. I would say that's pretty early. I would say that's going like here. Like here, so maybe. So I'm trying to find evidence that Gargano was in NXT at the same time as Cass. Big Cass? Uh, maybe. I don't think they were. Who can say? Uh, let's put th let's put this like right before the main event. That's them. That's them hyping up their boys. Ah, they fought each other. Okay, we're good. <laughs> ah, never mind. Uh, let's put this like. Well, no. Let's, I guess we'll do the wild brawl. Because we have, like, a lot of promos in a row here. So let's move, like, this to, like, here. And then we will also have to move the Ortiz promo. This is very high on the card for this Ortiz promo. But, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, you know? Sometimes you just got to tank the score. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I think, we got, I think this is a good card. Uh, Kenny and Brock talking for 10 minutes is going to be something. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not sure that that's a good idea, but... We'll, we'll, we're going to find out. Kenny is very good without a script, but I was not going to let Brock go out there for 10 minutes without a script. That seemed like a bad idea. Uh... Alright, uh... I'll say 75 on this show. I'll go pretty conservative. I don't think I'll beat that fucking 80% I got last week. That was crazy. I'm looking at, like, the top of that. Mm-hmm. Um, that 2v2 is gonna, gonna kill. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. I I think this is a 75. All right. I mean, that's the same score I said, so, <laughs> so let's find out. Uh, 79. These guys talking. This is pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You'll take that. It was fine. For sure, you'll take that. Yeah. This was fine, too. 
Th this could have been really bad, but it was pretty solid. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. a little surprised at how, how well it did, but... Listen, it, it was a match that... Pre it, this match basically only rates tech, and these guys are both pretty good at it, so... Yeah. yeah. I think the game probably overrates how good Jake Hager is at tech, but I'll take advantage of that. That's fine. Uh, then Chris Jericho came out and yelled at everybody. How dare you guys shake hands? How dare you guys be friends without me being involved somehow? This is about me! He's just saying the subtext. <laughs> yeah, we're, we, we've decided yeah. that we're on the subtlety. Yeah, subtlety is for cowards. <laughs> this was good. Yeah, good chemistry and it got a sexy fruit. I yeah, mean, I'll definitely take that. Yeah. Uh, 66 for these these two. For Maki Ito wanting to fucking kill Chris Statlander. Yes, fortunately, she said it in Japanese, so we just had to... No, 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 no. She, she said, I'll bleeping kill you. Oh, they, yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. So. They, they got on the... They, it was a pre-tape. They, they, they figured it out. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good show. Oh, you might hit. Yeah. You might get that 80 again. For some reason, I was just looking at this as like, oh, yeah, it's a mid-card match. I forgot it was a 10-minute steal the show Young Bucks match. Of course, that's really good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, these guys talking pretty solid. Although, I will say, Danielson talking by himself has been getting, like, 80s, so... Gar Gargano brought him down a little bit. Correct. Yeah. Uh, 67. I think I rated Coda. That was probably a mistake. Yes. Yeah. 77 for these guys. When I, when I was, when we got Brock Lesnar, I did not think I'd be seeing these three pictures together so often. That was not really the plan. But here we are. So who can make such plans? Yeah. <laughs> Just a happy accident. <laughs> uh, 69 on the Wild Brawl. Nice. These guys are all pretty good brawlers. Although I kind of feel like Roosh and like Keith Lee should be getting better than 60s at brawling. But whatever, I'll take it. Which Keith Lee are we talking about? I don't know if AEW Keith Lee should be doing better than 66. All right. I mean, how could you even say that? He never wrestles. <laughs> he just stands backstage and wears a one-piece hoodie. Fair. Yeah, I don't know if he's good in the rad wrestling anymore. These just, yeah, these never do good. No. Yeah. <laughs> this did not do good either. Uh, I don't know Oh, I, I scripted everyone but Chuck Taylor. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Dustin. You fuck. The <laughs> JR. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, you skinny fat piece of shit. Yeah, you just got sauced, bitch. <laughs> That's a fantastic rib. Also, forgot JR's dead so <laughs> jr is dead to the saves yeah but, uh, J jr haunting chuck taylor from beyond the grave <laughs> chuck taylor just <laughs> locked up because he saw the ghost of jim ross during this promo <laughs> uh, fuck uh, oh yeah this match was really good yeah what johnny yeah. got 73 yeah johnny's good yeah you you got a really good wrestler there yep not as good as this uh, Brian Danielson fella, but I think they'll have a good match. I have to th Do you think I should make Gargano Danielson the main event and then do like Kenny, like Kenny Brock Lesnar, like eight minute opener? I, you got to make these decisions. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm getting a second opinion. Uh, I am not one of the like title purist people yeah so i would say absolutely if you think there's a better match as the main event do that yeah 
Because we got hurt well by that with Brock a lot in the last show that we gave him 16 minutes of the game. And we had to make it slow build that the game was like, well, he's not a slow build wrestler. Also, the crowd is burned out. Yes. Uh, anyway, we just got 78. It was a very good show. Um, I'm now, very happy with it. I should have known that 2v2 would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, I figured it would be, but I just thought it would be, like, the one good thing on the show and everything else would be, like, 60s. But I, again, I for, for some reason, I forgot that the Young Bucks would have a really good 10-minute steal the show match uh, because I'm an idiot. Got 79. Yeah, imagine, imagine if we had titles for our tag teams to fight over. That'd be crazy. That's all right. We just have a bunch of trios over here. <laughs> Nick, do you have anything for Rampage? I do have a lot for Rampage. Oh, okay, great. I want to, like, completely take over the show. I need a local talent. Great. Uh, I feel like we might have some parameters on here. No, we do not. There's just not a lot of people here. Is Shazza okay? She's fine. That might be what we need to do. Yep. Okay, I'm just bringing someone in to lose to Rena, so. Yeah. Uh, so she's a heel, then? I mean, she could be a face. It doesn't matter. What do you mean, it doesn't matter? <laughs> okay, she's a heel. Goodness. Why, why would you, like, purposely give yourself a mismatch? <laughs> I don't think it matters for us like that. I, th I don't know. You might be right. Uh, yeah, like a, a six-minute Rena over Shaza match. Fucking rest in peace, Shazza McKenzie. She's gonna just get absolutely fucking murdered here. Yeah, this is definitely a heat up match too, because Reina's been going after Ben. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I just want to see who else is out here. Speak of the devil, we get six, oh sixty year old, sixty year old Bob Holly is an occasional wrestler. Mamma mia. Carry on. Uh, it's a little, uh, it's a little sparse up here in Minnesota, you know. Fair. Yeah. Oh. Uh, PJ Black is, is in Minnesota. I mean, okay, I guess. Yeah. No, I don't want to book any of these guys. Just, just looking, just looking. Did you have other plans? Yeah. Um, I have an angle. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I need probably what two, three minutes. Uh, MJF gives Swerve a lot of money. <laughs> Just here you go. You know what to do. All right. I'm sort of being like, yeah, I know what to do. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna stretch that twenty second dialogue into yeah. three minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, we're playing TW. It's three minutes. Okay. Just <laughs> them staring at each other for like 20 seconds and then MJF being like, no, this swerve is like, you got it. And then he's like, oh, I got it. And then 20 more seconds. <laughs> and then, so are you going to give it to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, MJF's not going to want a script. They're going to ad-lib giving each other money. Yeah, great. Uh, I should probably book something on my side. Uh... Oh, you know what? We never talked about who we were going to trade for uh, Samoa Joe and Jade Cargill. Okay. Although you, yeah. said, you said you wanted the Dark Order. Yeah, we didn't talk about it, but um, I don't know. I I'm I'm in. I'm looking for a face. Okay. Um. So if you have any faces in which you are okay getting rid of, do you want Dalton Castle and the boys? Yeah, I'll take another trios for my tag division. <laughs> the boys are a tag team. I, listen, I'll take it. That right. is a fair trade to me. I can do things. 
put Dalton Castle. Mm -hmm. Him and Shinsuke can have a weird off. Love, I love a weird off. Just both taking turns trying to weird out MJF. You don't have anything planned, do you? Nope. Would you like me to give you something? Well, you, you have a match ready to go, or? I Yeah, I mean, I could probably fill this whole rampage if I needed to. I'm just kind of... I mean, let me let me do this. Let me do this cool. Nakajima. Yeah. Let me do this Nakajima match. I wish there had been anyone worth a damn local. <laughs> but there wasn't, so... You don't want to put uh, Nakajima and Mr. Anderson? I don't. Um, so Bandito was hanging out with Ortiz, and I... Like, I kind of don't want to just feed Flamita to uh, Nakajima, but also, like, that's a cool match, and I don't think I'm going to do it at any other time for any other reason. Although, actually, he's unimportant. Is Nak, is Nak important yet? I am I'm pushing him pretty hard. I, mean, I would hope he's important. You Fuck, check he's out, unimportant. Check Rina as well, please. I might have just booked two unimportants. Yeah, I, I bet you did. Uh, So he's not wrestling Flamita. Oh. Oh, I'm sending you Dalton Castle. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, Joe is losing on the way out as well. Yeah. There you go, Knock. Also, weird ass match. Weird ass match. Very, very weird. Yeah. That's all right, Dalton. We're coming to get you. We're going to Actually, you. is Dalton Castle important? I just kind of booked him assuming he would be. Oh, fuck me. Go. <laughs> you can't kill what's already dead. God damn. Oh, my God. I'm about to have Danhausen and Dalton Castle. <laughs> I've won the war. Uh... I think you've killed all your dweebs. Yeah, I think I've killed all my dweebs. You know what that means? Need better dweebs. Time to get new dweebs. Yeah. Oh, uh, you could wrestle Mark Briscoe. Sorry, Mark. Bonk. Oh, yeah, he's already the winner. Uh, check my match for me. All right. Might need to add someone to it. Uh, no, she's recognizable. We're good, then. Good job, Nick. You did it. Keep it going. Uh, what else you got? Uh, I have a tag team match. Mm-hmm. I lied to you. I have a trios match. Okay. It is your low. Mm hmm And FTR. Which apparently I thought was a, a tag team, you know, Wardlow and his tag team partner FTR. Mm -hmm. uh, Franklin Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you cracked the code. Alright, who are they facing? Jeff Jarrett. Oh. Ethan Page. Okay. Cesar Bonilla. I th I, when you booked this half, I was like, oh, this might be our main event. And then you booked this half, and I was like, oh, I guess not. That's generally how those yeah. <laughs> how that second half works. Yeah. Uh, uh, more dog, please. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, that's what happens in real life you book this match and then like last second as they're going out through the curtain it's like wait this guy just got changed to jeff jarrett winning how did that even happen <laughs> <laughs> how did he even do that <laughs> uh, that that's our that's our hot opener all right, uh, we're uh, we're gonna need help here. I I feel like Knock and Mark Briscoe might be our main event. So, well, you know, you guys give the people a match. You know, give 
make it worth it for the people that stay, the poor souls. Do you have more things, Nick? I have angle. Okay, hit me. Uh, it's just a, a promo with uh, Jay White. Mm -hmm. Sammy Gavar. Sammy Gavar. And let's leave it at that. And they are going to be talking about Pentagon. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and that's it. Okay. And they're basically like, Pentagon, you are a stupid man. Oi, Penta! You stuck your nose where it doesn't belong. Was that Sammy or Jay? <laughs> <laughs> Come the fuck on! How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> I am ending this stream! <laughs> uh, uh, but, but yeah, they're, they're basically going off on Penta, and then, you know... You're not only coming after CM Punk, the greatest wrestler in the world today. Uh, you're you're coming after the book club gold because we hold the gold. Blah blah blah. We're the tag champs. Blah 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 blah. blah. That's it. I have to develop a Sammy Guevara impression now, but I don't even. What does Sammy Guevara even sound like? He kind of just sounds like a guy, you know. Uh, I mean. Just do your Chris Jericho. <laughs> ah, it's me, Sammy Guevara. Yeah, like I don't. He just yeah, perfect. The hardest impressions to do are people that just have normal fucking accents. <laughs> like what am I? Hey, it's me, Sammy Guevara. Like that would be what my Sammy Guevara impression. You know what would be a good Sammy Guevara impression? Uh, YouTuber's voice. <laughs> Actually, that yeah. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's me, Sammy Guevara. That Pentagon, he is such, he's done for once me and my boys, the BCC, get their hands on him. Actually, yes, that is, good job, good job. That, that's, that's brainstorming right there. I hurt my uh, hands when I clapped. I clapped really hard so it would come up on microphone. <laughs> I smashed my hands together like you should smash that. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna book something for my show. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, this is this is like after after uh, you know this is my new favorite rampage gimmick is like. You know, after the main event on uh, Dynamite. And it's basically just going to be Brian backstage, like, yelling at Claudio, like, We just lost to Orange Cassidy and Johnny Gargano. That's unacceptable. Those guys are a joke. And he's going to be like, I'm, Ah, Brian, I'm sorry. I didn't, I, I didn't, I somehow did not have him scouted and didn't see the, <laughs> the fucking Gargano escape coming. The move he's been doing for 15 years. They've never wrestled in the same company. That, yeah, that no. So, those two never cross paths. Danielson calls loss to O.C. Gargano. Unacceptable. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's how we start the show. <laughs> Just... It's like a continuation from Dynamite. Like, oh, this, here's what happened right after we went off the air. I'm, I'm bringing WCW 1992 tropes to uh, our AEW save. Are you going to keep the tape rolling? So that you can show it yeah, the next one, 100%. 100%. I'm glad. Sorry, I'm loading a cough drop. Do you have anything? Uh, I need to book Phoenix in a match. Do we have enough space for a match? Um, a short one. All right, let's go wild. Let's let's book like a eight minute steal the show with Phoenix in it. Okay. Who would you like Ray Phoenix to wrestle? Who do I have who I haven't used in a while? What about? Um, you have a lot of luchadors that you, like, never book. 
I have Commander. Yeah, you have Commander. I mean, I'm not going to book Commander. I would like oh. to book uh, oh, AR Fox's protege that I forgot the name of. Leon Ruffin. Thank you. Let's do that. Sure. I try and rotate him in and out. I used Commander a lot. All right, this is our new hot open. This does seem like a hot open. Yeah. And then we need like one more promo. I think you, you should. I you should. should I should it. probably. <laughs> I should probably do something. Um, you know what? We we gotta know. I'm gonna give Dan Garcia five minutes because this is the B show, and it's, it's all, and it's time to find out, right? So five minutes. That that is Dalton Castle. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, Delhi Castle building up the main event by talking about Chris Jericho? Uh, yeah, Dan Garcia, we're going to give him five minutes just to see what happens. Can he cut a promo, you know? So it's just going to be him being like, you know, you know, I, I trusted my future to Chris Jericho. He, he told me, you know, he would make me the next big star. And he did do a lot for me. I'm not going to deny that. But I think it's time for me to spread my wings on my own. But he doesn't see it that way. Chris Jericho, I'm, I'm still just a kid to him. Chris, I want, I need to prove to you that I, I'm a big boy now. Oh, no. Little Danny's a big boy now. Daniel Garcia would get the catchphrase, I'm a big boy, so over. Start his, start his big boy dance. You, you already know this is true. Yeah, I'm just going through, like, <laughs> all the different things that he would be doing with that, and you're you're not wrong. Yeah. And uh, then Jay and Sammy have to somehow follow that up. Yep. Bad promo. Uh, it should do fine, that promo. I assume the game gave Jay White good talking stats. I don't... It should be fine. I'm... I'm so ready for this. Daniel Garcia is a big boy to actually hit the uh, the game thing that is the he got a new catchphrase. <laughs> that would be so great. Uh, this is either going to get another 69 or be our worst like rampage ever. No in between. I'm thinking like a 66, but that's not a meme. Hey, hey. Yeah, Phoenix is a very good. Yeah, strong, strong opener. Him and Leon Ruffin doing some moves. Uh, I thought this promo would do better. Didn't give it enough time. No, they, they got what they could out of it. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this was also worse than I thought. Like, I, I had low expectations and they still went underneath them. That's rough. Lord power bomb Caesar until he dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> Yeah, Powerbomb Symphony is back, baby. 40. Buddy. Uh, oh, yeah. He's he's hurt, hurt. Yeah. Uh, yeah whoa, I'm... people are mad at Wardlow. He, he hurt Cesar. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Last week, Cesar made everyone happy by being so fun to be around. Yeah. And then Wardlow, Wardlow injured, injured him. It's rough. Okay, Danny's on a promo guy. We, this was an experiment. We found out. Yes. No, yeah. he should not talk. He is not yet a big boy. Perhaps he will go from the JAS into another group. Who can say? Uh, yeah, sixty-seven. This is fine. Yeah, it was, it was fine. Have you ever just done like ten-minute Jay White promo on your show? No, I'm sure it would do fine. Yeah, you should try it. I realize that sounds like I'm trying to sabotage you, but you should you should try it. It would probably do well. Uh, I don't. I feel like I have, and it was like an eighty, which is good, but like bad. Oh, these these two had no chemistry, which that that checks. They're very different wrestlers. But Rena wins. Yeah, that's all I needed. Seventy two for these guys being like, you got the cash. Money, yeah, I got the cash. It's all there. Oh yeah. Count it. 
Two, 90 seconds is literally just him counting one, two, and then, then it's sort of being like, why'd you bring one? <laughs> That's the whole three minute promo with MGF. 302, 303. We come back from commercial. 697. <laughs> then the crowd is just eating it up. They're, they're counting with them, you know? Swiley's in a chat room somewhere flipping tables yeah. while the crowd is. So, I'm just yeah, I'm just somewhere going like this is the death of wrestling. <laughs> anyway, the the main event, yeah, it was solid. They had a nice little match. That was a rampage match. That was a rampage. That was a, this is a rampage, baby. That was close to a 69, which is shocking because it was the best show, but yeah, it was. MJF showed up with money and almost saved the show. Yeah, because, like, the show that had it got the 69 had, like, a really high-rated, like, promo on it. It had, like, an 80-something promo. This had, like, nothing that was especially good. I mean, I guess it had two good matches, which is more than we get from most Rampages. Yes. Yeah. And it had Caesar getting power bound until he broke his shoulder. Yeah. Also, this is probably what we should do for, like, the B-Show a lot of the time. Just, like... Main event match. A mid-carder gets a win. You know what I mean? That's uh, a lot of what I have been doing. Yeah. I only... So, luckily, it is before my show, but I book my show out so that I know who's not being used, and then mm -hmm. I use whoever's left over. Yeah, that's usually what I do, also. If you exactly. if you remember, the first couple of shows we did, it, we uh, Rampage was first, and I was like, Nick, we have to change it. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go! Oh my god. I can't believe we re-signed John Silver. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. So this is, like, a crazy, um, thing, but I might bring Walter in as a baby face? At this point, he could be a baby face. Absolutely. Yeah, like, I don't even know if he could. Like, I don't even know if that's a thing he's good at. But... Like, big, all the matches I have him, uh, uh, like, they're all against heels. But a baby face. Yeah. <laughs> 23 days. Counting them down. Can't wait. God. Walter Brock. Uh, that's not what I'm jumping to. Oh, we, oh. we got to check how hurt Cesar is. Dislocated shoulder, I'm thinking. Y'all want the title of Brock? We're not even cooking with Brock yet. Yeah, I didn't want him to dethrone him, but, like, Walter Brock. Again, fun match. Uh, 25, 25 days. days. That's not that bad. No. All right. All right, hey, full gear's not close enough that it shows up here. That's fun. We are forever away from that. <laughs> hey, winter winter will be coming eventually. But right now, it's fall, you know? I very much like this schedule where winter doesn't show up until December, like, late December. Yeah. And then it can also go away right after mm -hmm. as well. You you should you should try living in Florida. It doesn't really come until like February. And, and by come I mean like, yeah, there's like two weeks where it's cold enough to wear like a coat. Oh man, it's like fifty out. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like yeah, there's like a two or three weeks where I wake up in the morning and I'm like, ooh, I should put a hoodie on. Ooh, it's cold. And then by like two in the afternoon, I take it off because it's warm now. I am sorry. I'm looking over my card. I am now concerned that I did not book enough, but that's fine. Is he called or I? I Walter should 100% be Walter. I, it would be insane if his default name was Gunther. I would yell at the mod maker, but I'll check. I, I get you in touch with them. <laughs> you could yell at them. D don't. I don't want to actually yell at them. Oh, PCO and Sammy Callahan are at war. Oh no. 
Not the boys. Yeah, his name is Walter, as he should be. Uh, Julia Hart is now living in New England. Uh, really embracing the spookiness. She moved to Salem. Yep. Yep. Uh, Flamita is probably living in Orlando now. That makes sense. Maybe Jacksonville. Hopefully Jacksonville, not yeah. Orlando. But we'll see. One is not better than the other. Uh, one is, the other is another company. I mean, listen, half their roster lives in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> uh we did another mexican house show great uh and then people people watched rampage or at least a couple of them did oh i i thought this said chris jericho regains title and i was like what and then i was like oh chris christy christy yeah jericho. that is not chris jericho no not at all it really wants us this is like the game was in love with us doing Daily Space, and now it really loves the RP Funding Center. Let's, uh, let's go hang out in the Southwest. Sure. Which is just gonna put us in Vegas again, but whatever. Uh, oh. Oh, we're too big. How, it thinks we're gonna draw 8,000. Maybe there's a 10,000 seat arena, that would be fine. Yeah, sure. Just want to see if there's anything smaller. Eh, Four thousand is too small. Ten thousand five hundred. Walter Pyramid, <laughs> where he has to debut. Uh, do you, do you want to do Los Angeles? LA's good. Or ba Bakersfield? Yeah, we'll do Los who, Angeles. Who choose Bakersfield over LA? I I don't listen. Don't yell. I don't know. Also, it's very weird that it thinks we're going to draw 8,000, and then it was like, there's no good venue. Like, just pick one of the... Anyway. This game is weird sometimes. Um, <laughs> what are we doing, Nick? Uh, we are ending the show. <laughs> Alright, bye everybody. No, good. <laughs> with some Brock Lesnar. Oh. Coming out. Fucking... And staring down Adam Cole. You mean staring above Adam Cole well Correct. past him. A hundred percent just like walking up and like continuing to walk into yeah. Adam Cole's space. Uh Kyle's there as well. Maybe Adam gets on Kyle's shoulders. <laughs> Give me a boost. Give me a boost. Uh entertainment for those guys and then just not rating kyle i assume and this uh, this is like two or three minutes just, just reminding people that like yeah this match might happen kenny might also win the title we'll see mm -hmm. uh that would be that would be crazy for me to just have kenny win and then be like i guess brock's on my show now oh that's weird Huh. <laughs> well, yeah, since, yeah. Since you lost to Kenny, I guess he's just mine. I don't, that that's that's yeah, yeah. No. Oh, and weird. Kenny can't work Saturdays for some reason. <laughs> uh, we are going to have a twenty-minute main event mm -hmm. between Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. Versus John Moxley and Wheeler Yuta. I would like this to go to a draw. Okay. Time well, limit draw, if possible. 20 minute time limit draw. Anything else? Nope, that should be good. Hopefully no one gets mad. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they would get mad. It is the main event of Main Eventer and their little friend versus Main Eventer and their little friend. Yeah, no one won. Who would care? Uh, we have a promo.
this is a pretty main event Cole uh, and Kyle promo see how they do together doing promo work they just talking shit on Mox and yeah Utes I think this is the first time I put them back together too so he's just sort of establishing the group again like in a match I mean so Uh, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Give him five. Okay. And we have another promo, but this one much shorter. This is the Ricky Starks injury update. Mm hmm. Um, he's hurt. One minute. <laughs> one minute? <laughs> yep. Uh, what it is, is like a big, big, like, we're going to get the, the update on Ricky Starks, and then it just cuts to a doctor. It's like, he's injured. <laughs> it's not even a video. It's just like an on-screen graphic of just like, yeah, Ricky's still hurt, obviously. <laughs> what, what are you, we're blind? Gonna, we're going to be, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be doing this every week. Uh, we are going to have a match. It is, God, I have to change a couple things right now, but this is going to be, uh, pop it open. I would like to see, uh, Kushida's stats. Sure. They look like this. I would like to see, uh, Malachi's stats. They look like this. Did I say Malachi? I meant Buddy Matthew stats. They look like this. Uh, at, uh, Kushida versus Buddy Matthews. Which I'm pretty sure I've already done, but I would like this to steal the show, please. Nah, no, you're good. It turns out when you have, like, a bajillion people in your roster, it's actually kind of hard to do the same matches. You have to, like, work at it. Uh, who do, who do you, who's winning? Buddy. Buddy, okay. Just clean? Yeah, they're transitioning to be good goodies. Right. So. Uh, we are going to have two three-minute promos, or one six-minute promo, depending on how you're feeling. Uh, this is Joe and Hook. Joe promo on Hook, Hook promo on Joe. Uh, the Hook one should be first. Oh, yes, you are doing it. Hook. Oh, is, so it's just going to be, like, them talking and then them talking? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why I was like, or you could just do Yeah, this, I'm just going to do a six-minute promo. That's, e right. It's easier to book, and it'll get a better score. It is Hook doing the, or accepting the challenge from Joe. Where loser leaves town. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Joe telling Hook to make his peace with his career because mm. uh, without your daddy, no one is going to want to hire you anyway. Yeah, the biggest mistake you ever made. I send, well, send you back to send you back to lacrosse. He's a lacrosse player, right? I mean, he looks like one. Yeah. Take that, lacrosse players. You're Take that, lacrosse players. You're all traditionally attractive. Yeah, I was going to say, what? <laughs> Sick young, bird. Young, young and attractive people. Uh, we have a Jamie Hader phone. Mm -hmm. Britt is there, so she doesn't get mad. Uh-huh, okay. Okay. Bridge is there, right? You don't want me to raid her? Yeah. No. Okay. She's not saying anything. Um, 
and she is passing along information from Tony Khan mm -hmm. that there is going to be a triple threat match for the title in two weeks between her, Venny, and Rhea. Are you sure you don't want to do this next week so you don't forget? No. Okay. I got it written down. Okay. I'm just throw listen, I'm just I'm just trying to be helpful. And it is. Believe me, I the likelihood of me forgetting very high. Although I did remember the Joe and Hook use your leaves match, so Yeah, that's good. I did I did the uh, video game like trying to help you too much thing again. Maybe you it, should make a note of that so you don't forget. To be fair, you did make me like make the note bigger. So <laughs> uh, then we're gonna have Hikaru Shida beat Jade. Sure. Why w why wouldn't you do that? Uh, how much time do you want to give him? Eight? Six? No. Any notes or anything? Uh, no. So this is... Two angles here. We're going to do... CM Punk. Rated on fighting. <laughs> yep. Same floor. Rated on fighting. You're you're telling me that CM Punk and Sammy Guevara got in a fight? I don't I don't believe that. How did that not happen? Yeah, that's that's a great great point actually. Uh and Jay White talk. You know, Sammy's probably a bit of a suck up backstage. He was probably all like, Hey Punk, hey buddy, what's up, man? Wow, can't believe Jack Perry would do that. You should go kick his ass. <laughs> if I was you, I wouldn't let him talk to me like that. Then he filmed it for his YouTube. Yeah. And that's how it happened. <laughs> what a worker. <laughs> uh, they are going to attack. Mm -hmm. uh, Pac. Phoenix. Hey, hey, there he is. Rene Phoenix mm -hmm. and Andrade Ali. Oh. Not Penta? This all makes sense. Okay. Uh, Penta will make a save here. Oh, I see. Nope. It... BCG, not BCC. Oh. Okay. Um, and then after that, we need to have Punk and Penta. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're being like pulled apart, and then Punk gets on the mic. That is like, what the hell is your problem? Yeah, I didn't do anything to you. I don't deserve this. And Penta basically just screaming, uh, "Kill me, or I'll kill you." Punk being like, what? what? <laughs> Five minutes. Question mark. Three. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five. Right. And you you want that after this, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What's CM Punk know about the Lucha Underground? Probably not much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we are going to have the tag match that led to this. Of course. Which is Andrade and Pac. Versus Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. That's Jack Perry. I'm sorry, Jack Perry and, and Luchasaurus. Okay. Andrade wins. Sorry, Jack. You stink. <laughs> and 
And before that, we're going to have the angle that sets up this match. Mm -hmm. It is Andrade promo. So Andrade is going to kind of be like, yeah, I did get the job done. I wish I could take out CM Punk, but uh, we cannot focus on that. One thing that did come out of me fighting the Bullet Club is I have beaten both members of the Tag Team Champions in singles matches. So the way I see it, that makes me number one contender for the Tag Champs. I just need someone to tag with, and Pox Taser is going to hit. Pac uh, basically is like, it's been too long since I've held gold. And my brother Penta is off doing his own thing, so why don't you and me go after the Bullet Club together? And Andrade says, all right, we have a, we have <laughs> a right. warm up right now then. Send out the two biggest jabronis you got back there. And then Jack Gray and Luchasaurus walk out. The idea being that this was Andrade and question mark, question mark, question mark versus yeah. Jack and Lucha earlier in the show. But yeah, basically. And that is 40 minutes of show all around that one thing. Sure is. All right, uh, we are going to have a Rena and Venny promo. All right, this is daring. It is. I have no clue what's going to happen here. Uh, these is just Rena coming in, going to chase Venny again. Venny comes out. Uh huh. Gets a mic, mm -hmm. doesn't even get to say anything. Rena jumps a barricade. And Venny, Venny's just like, just stop, 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 stop. Why don't we just fight each other? Why are you just trying to kill me? Uh, Rena points at the Owen belt that Venny is, of course, carrying. Uh, basically, you, you cheated to get this. You turn your back on the ideals that we all came into this company together with. Me and you joined at the same time. We should have been. We should have been together. Sorry, I'm just I'm laughing because I'm imagining on TV. It's just her pointing at the belt, and then all the notes you're making are being said by Mauro Ronaldo. Oh. But no. by pointing at that belt, she's saying that it should be hers, and that they came into the company together, and that she she bankrupted her morals to win that tournament, Nigel. I forgot it was more, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're, you you got the gist of it. <laughs> I'm just gonna write Rena chases Vetti. That's just easier, and that's that's what ends up happening. Yeah, Vetti is able to talk her down for like two or three minutes and then Rena's like fuck this and st chases her off again uh, we have a mox training session alright I assume Wheeler and Hooker there yes and they are each being given like specific advice on their coming matches. Uh, Mox giving advice on the main event. Cole and Kyle and then Hook and Joe. Hook advice versus Joe. Okay. Uh, basically, Mox is going to ask them a question. And whenever they get it wrong, he's just going to punch them in the face. You know, normally, you, you, when you punish someone like that, you, you, you hit him with, like, a paddle or a kendo stick. Something that, like, hurts but doesn't, like, disfigure. Nope. Nope. All right. 
hammer punches. That's yeah. That's I like the hammer punches. That that's what like Wheeler saying. He's like, oh, you're supposed to hit me with like a, a paddle or something, and then he punches him again. So I punch you in the back of the head. Yeah. Pump. That's for being soft, punch. I. Uh, I think this is going to end up being a wild brawl. Okay. But it, the match is Shinsuke versus Miro. Okay. Friday night SmackDown ass match. Oh, you don't know the hey off of it. I mean, Miro, yeah, Miro can, of course, brawl. First got it, and I'm sure Shinsuke. Yeah, they can brawl. Wild brawl for me, please. Who's winning? Shinsuke. Clean? Yeah, sure. You know why this was a Friday night ass? Um, something, something, MJF paid Swerve to have Miro wrestle Shinsuke. MJF is tired of Nakamura being weird around him <laughs> and uh -huh. says if he wants a match, He's got to go through the trials of Nakamura oh. facing enemies from his past. And then, yes, he, he paid Swerve to have Nero be one of the enemies. There's, there's the L. I figured you'd love that. Uh, how, how long is this promo? Six minutes. All right. Seven minutes, actually. Seven, yeah, keep, keep, yeah, just keep Jack. Go ahead, make it ten. You got time. No, I don't. I need seven minutes exactly. All right. Uh, Shinsuke, there. Okay. Vibing. Should like Miro come out? I guess you can save that for the match. Doesn't matter. It, yeah, but you, it doesn't need to be part of it. Mm. All right, so we had the wild. What are you getting had... yelled at about? I don't. I need another aim. Oh, I thought you had all three. I guess not. Uh, I didn't do storytelling on the top. Nope. Uh, it's 20 minute. I mean, you could you you could tell a story in this match or these guys are learning how to be a tag team. Hit hit the main event with. Uh, yeah, actually, that is a good good enough story. Hit the storytelling. Yeah, that's there. a story. Listen, it doesn't have to be a good story. It just has to be a story. Right. Yeah. Is that it? That is it. I actually booked it to time this time. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I am really banking on that main event being good. Yeah. But it'll still, probably still be an 80 because I have MJF talking for seven minutes. Yeah, I mean, your promo should be good. You have yeah, CM Punk and Penta. That'll be interesting. That's only five minutes, though. But, uh, yeah, I think you'll do uh, what did I get? 78? I, I think my show will be... I think you'll get, like, a 76. Uh, well... <laughs> uh, I think you're gonna be alright, Nick. I'm thinking we're good. Yeah. MJF setting up more fucking trials at Swirly in this universe flips every table. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I don't get mad about AEW anymore. I would, I would just be like, "Fucking, of course!" and like roll my eyes. They've, you know, it. They've, they've broken. They've me. broken me. They've broken me. I mean, this timeline you might not be, but you might be like, they're booking such cool shit, but then they do this shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I would probably just not be watching Collision. Honestly, <laughs> I would probably be watching like, man, whoever's booking Dynamite, they really got their finger on the pulse. Love that show. Shinsuke Miro did good. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, I I rated these guys, which I th seemed fair to me. Uh, didn't they hurt this a lot? <laughs> fine. Yeah. I you can keep rating them unless mm -hmm. I tell you like, hey, Mox is gonna carry this. Mm -hmm. But if it's a training session, generally all of them. Yeah, this is bad. Figured this is what this would do, but that's yeah. fine. This, these two, for these two talking, this is a tremendous score. You are correct. Yeah. And the match, the, the match over delivered. I think. Pot got a seventy-eight. Yeah. Well, he's just chilling. Yeah. So, 
Whose fault is that, Nick? <laughs> Hot's fault. Yes. He should get his visa in order. He should get an 80 instead of a 78. And then th these guys came out and beat him up. Big schmozzy attack after. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, an 86. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Penta loves not being scripted. Punk yeah, loves that's... not being scripted. This is gonna... He cursed so much in Spanish. <laughs> He can kill me. <laughs> no, he was saying that in Spanish, and we didn't catch any of it. Uh, yeah, this is fine. It existed. Yep. I mean, listen, you're gonna you're gonna have people lose on the way out, but boy, I need all the help I could get with Jade. Well, I'm letting her go for basically nothing. Yep. You're you're, uh, you're trading her for the boys. Correct. Yeah. Uh, 61 on this, that's fine. Yep, I mean, Hater is about 10 to 15 points higher than the other women are doing right now. Mm hmm It's promos, so. 70 on this, that's good. This did better, so Yuda really killed it then. Mm hmm Yeah, Yuda can't talk, like, at all. I don't... Yeah? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you're, you've caught on to that, but he's very bad. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> We're training him. Uh, this was all right. Kind of yeah. thought this would do better, honestly. This would do better, yeah. Kushida, I, I, Kushida might be a little old to be doing Steal the Show. Like, maybe his gas tank say, isn't there. I, I might be booking, like, Kushida of 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be it also. Uh, Ricky Starks. Still hurt. One, he's hurt. <laughs> Uh, 61, I'm gonna say Adam, uh, Kyle O'Reilly probably not helping here. Yeah, that, that's what yeah. this was a test of, though. Yeah. To see. Alright, Kyle, you just... Yeah, you 74. That is a, a nice main event. I don't know if it yeah. was, like, the banger you were looking for, but your promos were really good, so it should be fine. Yeah, I was hoping for better on this. And then Brock shows up. And then Brock shows up, and ooh, it gets a 68. And it's stinky. And then he dumps it and he leaves. <laughs> yeah, people don't like that. He just big leagues Adam Cole. They're like, oh, he's being mean. He's such a nice guy on Dynamite. He is. It's weird. Oh, you beat me by one point. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm mad. <laughs> eh, I cheated. It's fine. I mean, you didn't cheat. You, you booked. I mean, if you really wanted to be a stinker, you would just do 10-minute MJF promo, 10-minute CM Punk promo every single week. And I would literally never win. And the series would have ended after, like, episode 8. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's kind of what they were doing for a long time. Yeah, it was. Tony thought TW was real life. It's not. <laughs> well. I do need to get more. I think I have enough to do three trials for Shinsuke. Oh, getting people. This reminds me, I have an insane short-term signing I would like to do. Uh, first of all, Rocky Ramirez. Oh, Shayna Baszler's here. Yay. Uh, Dante Martin is gone because his legs fell off. Remember that? Yes. Uh, and then Rocky broke his nose. So, he, so he's got the eye patch and the nose guard. <laughs> okay. I wanted to give someone like a one or like maybe a three month contract uh, for <laughs> for uh, part of my women's feud. And who's that? I want to give you like three guesses because you'll never guess. Which women's feud are you bringing them in for? The Chris Statlander? They're, they're particularly coming in for the Chris Statlander and Maki Ito match at full gear. Awesome Kong. Of course, I should have known. You should have known. What's wrong with me? You should have known. Uh, Nick, we only need you for like, we need you for like three months, brother. Um, and you know what? You don't. Uh, you, you don't. You don't got to do house shows. You do not have to do house shows for sure. In fact, please don't do it. <laughs> please don't show up at our house shows. Uh, 
great. Perfect. Can you check and see if I can get Tanahashi for a night? Like a one monther? Yeah, I'm I'm sure we can. That would be a dope match. But, but, Oh, with, uh... Shinsuke, yeah. Yeah, with Shinsuke, yeah, sure. Who did you... Uh... Huh? No, we cannot. Alright, um... I'm assuming Naito is the same. Yeah, we're... Daniel, Ke Daniel guessed TJPW girls. Very far off. Very far off from what I did. Was it that far off? It's pretty far off, yeah. Character-based wrestler. <laughs> Uh, you could probably get Shibata. Oh yeah, they're just in Ring of Honor. Right? Yeah, go you could just Shibata. you could just get Shibata. Yeah. Swing on up. Yeah. All right, Shibata is a fun one. Uh, like you don't even have to do this. I could just bring in Shibata like whenever I want. No, no, we have. There's, we we can't just grab people from ROH. We have to sign them. I'm almost positive. Are they not our child company? I don't think so. No. They're not developmental. I don't know what the... Is child a different thing? I have no fucking idea. No, I'm just... They're the same. They're okay. The same. I'm going to give him a three-month contract also, unless you want to keep Shibata around. No. Three All months right. is fine. Oh, you don't have to yeah, do fucking fine. house shows. That's, that's, that's fine. He doesn't want to work Rampage. Maybe the third trial will be Nick Gage again. That would be really funny. <laughs> just always Nick Gage. Yeah. Be like, yeah, it didn't work last time, but this time I think he's got it. Also, again, because on my show, he will be a huge baby face. And then he shows up on your show and he's just like, look, I needed the money. I, <laughs> I mean, he was basically a huge baby face when he fought Jericho. He's, yeah. just, he's just Nick Gage. He's just Nick Gage. He's just Nick Gage. That's what they say. Yeah. What's the craziest match you think I could book Maki Ito and Chris Statlander in at the pay-per-view and the game won't yell at me? Ooh, and the game won't yell at you. We had to do, like, weenie versions of war games. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who are they rejecting now? No. Oh. Yeah, no, nah, I'm also... No. No. Now, hold on. What about Heath? <laughs> Who the who the fuck? Who? Well, of who course who are these real people? I don't think they are. Okay. Click, click on them. I wanna. I'm curious enough that I need to know. Uh, yes. no, he, yeah. that's that's a He's guy. A oh, this is the other James Drake. This is the shitty James Jake. Okay. Yeah, we should we should look it. Yeah, she's all right. Yeah. Yeah, she's getting like fifties and forties and stuff. She could use more time in the indies. Yeah. Well, what was like her most recent score? What what's she doing in Impact? Because Impact is a similar product to us, I assume. Yeah, she got a. I mean, she got a fifty-four. That's like solid, but unspectacular. Correct. Yeah. Oh shit, they got Mandy! <laughs> uh. I the game yelled at you for that. <laughs> yeah, the game was like, why are you trying to. <laughs> the, the, game, the game did the, the uh, bonk too horny thing to me. Oh, she wants like no money. Yeah, come in! Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll figure out. Yeah, we'll, you'll find something. Fuck Impact. Yeah. Masha and uh, Layla Hirsch. In fact, let me let me exclusive let me written. Make... Fuck yeah. fuck them. Uh, uh yeah, Mark Quinn's back. Um, Lance Archer can go work all the G one if you want. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't care about Lance Archer either. I very much enjoy Lance Archer, but I'm done. He's also like forty five or something. 
46. Jeez. Jesus. Yeah, he can. Thanks for coming, Lanch. Lanch? <laughs> anyway, Mark White's back. Yay. Oh, is that who those guys were? Zach? I didn't recognize either of them. They're really, uh, Zach Gibson and James Drake looking different these days. I don't know who that is. They're Brit British guys. Is it bad that I never really got into the British stuff? No, I mean, half of them I ended mean... up being sex pests, so that worked out for you. Who is, uh, oh boy. Uh, PWG was like, no, we can't afford her. GCW was like, no, we can't afford her. Rena is also... Oh, we, we gave Rena a written gave her, exclusive. Yeah. yeah, we upgraded her. We gave her the bag. Excalibur left PWG. That's wild. Although, I guess we gave him an exclusive contract also. I don't think we did. I think we did. I think he just left. But okay. No, I think his contract ran out, and we were like, we should oh, lock him it up because it's yes, Excalibur. It. Penta moved to Orlando. Good. Yep. Bad. Uh, Colt is healthy from whatever was wrong with him. Fuck and... Colt. Fuck this. <laughs> and then we ran a house show in Japan, and 200 people were there. Doesn't seem like the best use of resources to run 200 person house shows. Uh... <laughs> you want to bring you wanna... Goto? Yeah, you want to. Wanna... Listen! Do you want to bring him in to wrestle Shinsuke? No, we, nah. we don't we don't need to steal him from nah, New Japan just to do one match. And also not at 35 over. Yeah, and 44 years old. Yeah. Bringing Goto, have, his, have him have a big, big match. Then he loses. Mm -hmm. Send him on his way. As is tradition. That the New Year's Dash traditions. Mm-hmm. Goto versus Nakamura is fine, but I am not. I'm not freaking him. Like it, I, it would be fine to bring him in for one match, but we would have to like steal him from New Japan with a real contract, and like we're not doing that. Yes, correct. Uh, Beyond has dropped out on me. Yeah, y'all, y'all are not gonna like stop. <laughs> I like how we get an email for each one. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, I'm real worried Beyond is going to make her a better offer. Uh, I would... It's something like that has happened in a couple of games. I've played oh, I I'm bet. Like, how, the, how the hell did they ever oh, I, I was really hoping Nick Gage would be here in time for the show, but I can I could just hint at it, I guess. I, I knew I was going to do this, too. I should have done it, like, immediately, but I just fucking forgot. Oh. Yes. Hey. Yes. Can you do me a solid? Depends. Uh, I need to see if Nero can turn face. I mean, he can do whatever you want. Not if they say that his last one was too recent. Nope, it's fine. All right. We love turns. Can you do me a favor? Yes, Nick. Can you go sign CJ Perry? Nick. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Rain, what a time for you to show up. It, <laughs> it is CJ Perry time. Look, I'm not asking you to sign Ryback. I'm just asking you to sign CJ Perry. <laughs> Ryback might be better. <laughs> Oh, she's working in MLW. Yeah. Look, she's working in MLW. She is a, a much wanted person. Mir well, Miro's happy. Um, I don't know. Two, one year, two years. One year, one year is fine. She doesn't even need to be exclusive. Just, just a written contract. Just be here because uh, I need a catalyst to help Miro turn. Yeah. What, what a motley crew of people we have offered contracts. 
Well, we didn't offer to Goto. That would have been the money. <laughs> Lana, Goto, Nick Gage. All right. Let's let's not run this weird venue again. No, not Mrs. Perry, as in Jack Perry. <laughs> you wish. Uh, yeah, a couple six thousands. We 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 would sell those out. Uh, we are going to run the the Songus Center. Ta Tongus Songus. I don't know. Are you familiar I've, with this venue, Nick? It's in New England. I've heard it. I've heard that name before. Okay. I believe like it. You said that name, and I was like, wait. I believe that is on some kind of college campus, perhaps. I have been. Okay. Great. That's it. UMass Lowell. There you go. Our main event is Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi taking on Brock Lesnar and Darby Allen. What? A, what, a, what a world we live in. What a in. world. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I can't, I can't wait for next week's main event, which is going to be Chris Jericho and Chris Statlander versus, <laughs> versus Nick Gage and Maki Ito. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kenny probably has. Darby probably has to be the pin eater here. Unfortunately, I hate to do it to him, but it's the only thing that really makes sense. Darby eating pins isn't bad, though. Like, he can recover from that shit. No, that's his thing. It's just, like, it sucks that he's going to team with Brock Lesnar and then lose. Although, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe next, although I'll probably forget this by the time we stream. Maybe next week, Will Ospreay shows up and he's like, oh, you, t you teamed with Brock Lesnar and couldn't even win a match, you know? That's the catalyst for their match. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, I want I want to heat Kenny up for the match, obviously. Also, this is um. I don't I don't want to make this like the closing angle, so we're gonna do it like right before. But uh, it's gonna be Hangman watching a fucking TV. Passive aggressive television yeah. watching. It's just gonna be you know. During the match, be like, oh, backstage, Hangman Page is paying real close attention to this one. Which is weird, because you would think all of the wrestlers would pay really close attention to all of the matches. Nope, just Adam Page. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly enough. That is a wrestling trope that, that has always been super weird to me, because I always assumed when I first started watching that all the wrestlers were just watching each other's matches. But... No, in fact, for a lot of things in wrestling to make sense, they have to not be. <laughs> yeah, they typically not be doing yeah. that, and they never go back and watch their own matches. No, back. yeah, never. Which, I, which I have since found out is extremely true. They never watch the shit, so that part is actually real. All right, let's just do other things we know we're gonna do. Maki Ito is going to cut a promo. Chris Statlander. But she's gonna be like, you know, you made a mistake hitting me with the chair. You don't you don't understand how hardcore I am. I'm gang affiliated. When I get my hands on you, you're gonna see how ultra violent I get. That is Probably much more articulate than Maki makes it. Yeah, of course. Run Gang affiliated motherfucker. <laughs> MGK! Yeah. She has her little pizza slicer with the bow on it. Fucking best goddamn thing. <laughs> and then, you know what? Let, let's have Chris walk up to her during this promo and just, like, laugh at her. Be like, <laughs> you, you, you. You want to have a hardcore match against me at full gear. That's what you're challenging me to. You, all all 90 pounds of you wants to wants to have a, a hardcore death match with me at full gear. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Great idea, Ito. You stupid idiot. 
she really is turning into Chris Jericho. <laughs> yeah, stupid idiot is really Chris Jericho territory. Oh. Uh, Chris is there now. <laughs> Chris cutting a promo from just... <laughs> just, just <laughs> it's me, awkward. Chris Statlander. Don't do spooky voices. <laughs> Chuck Taylor will freeze up again. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's do... Hmm, how do we want to... Hmm. Do I just do that here? Yeah, we could probably use another real big, real good match. Let's go crazy mode, Nick. That is, that is crazy mode. That's crazy mode, I told you. Rich Cassidy. Chuck. Trent. Big Bill. See, normally how when we were doing combined pay-per-views, this probably would have been a pay-per-view match because I would have been like, oh, God, I gotta, gotta get everyone on the card. Now I can just do it on TV. Can't wait for you to also do it on the pay-per-view. <laughs> No. Well, first of all, three of these guys are in a trios match, and two of them are in a single title match. So, that, yeah, that's not happening. I'm going to have Danielson pin. Oh, I don't. Actually, you know what? We we had Claudio lose last week, so let's give him a win back. Plus, that'll give him heat for his team going for the trios titles. So let's have Claudio pin. Eh, Trent. We're kind of mad at Trent since he can't talk. Uh, I'll give these guys storytelling, I guess. We got there's a lot going on here. So that's a real real Vince McMahon thing to do right there. What, we're mad at Trent so he's losing? We're mad at Trent because he can't talk, so he's eating pin. <laughs> he's really bad at it. <laughs> he like single handedly was ruining those promos. I want to have a Brian Danielson promo right before this where he's, like, hyping up the troops, you know? Like, we have been being bettered by the best friends, and I've had it. <laughs> These goofballs. These nerds. Have been making me look foolish. And that, like, they're going to be, like, standing in a line, like, uh, with their hands behind their backs, and he's going to be, you know, like, drill instructor going off on them. Somewhere on my roster, uh, Buddy Matthews just breaks out into a cold sweat. <laughs> Danielson is tired of losing to nerds. These, these guys are not rated. They're just standing there getting berated. Uh... Let's see, what else do we... Oh, you know what? I wanted to do... I want to do just like eight minutes. Eddie Kingston. Eh, maybe this is more like six minutes. It's just like a six-minute video recap of like what's been going on with Santana Ortiz. It's like Eddie Kingston sitting backstage, you know, in like a studio or whatever, and he's talking about like, yeah, man, me and them, we go way back. Before wrestling, even. You know, back in the day, you know, I, I broke in with these guys. And we've been all, you know, we wrestled the independents. We did impact wrestling together. They always had my back. But things have been different recently. And it's going to, like, you know, chronologically go over what's been happening. We, it intercut with Eddie Cutting promos. See, see if just Eddie can get us can get us uh, where we need to be. 
let's do let's do a women's match. Nick, we are just really in the TW booking zone right now. So last week we did one half of that uh, women's tag. So obviously this week we do the other. Where we do right. Serena and Willow Nightingale. Uh, and this time... Um, this time the, uh, the shoe will be on the other foot. And like... Uh, Athena will try to interfere, but Riho will stop her, and then Riho will distract uh, Serena D, but that'll be the finish. Distraction finish isn't a thing. I just have to book a distraction. Yeah, there we go. So Serena D is distracted by Riho. Maybe this should be the storytelling match instead of the 10-man tag. The 10-man tag will probably be better if it's not a storytelling match. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We're booking on the fly, folks. A regular match. All right. Let's do, I'm going to give Chris Jericho a big, long talking segment where he's going to talk about, uh, he's going to, this is probably open the show, actually. Let's not even script him. He's going to come out and go, you know, Daniel Garcia, you know, I, I took you from nothing. You were just a. You were just a dork wearing, wearing trunks on the indies. No name, no personality. You were just a, a hunk of clay, and I molded you into the sports entertainer you are today. And now you want to leave. You, you, you don't show any respect to me. You know, that kind of stuff. Jericho Long promo. Running down Garcia. And then we're going to follow that up with a much shorter angle where Garcia comes out. And he's basically just going to be like, you're right, Chris. You, everything you said was right. I was nothing until I met you. but And you did, you did turn me into the wrestler I am today. But the wrestler I am today, this isn't the final product. I still got a lot more growth. It, it, it's time for me to do more than this. And Jericho's gonna be like, you piece, you ungrateful piece of shit, you think you're better than me? And then he's gonna fucking Judas affect him. So in fact, let's let's not even have Danny fucking talk. I mean, technically he has to, but you 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 know. We'll do selling you know. and fighting. Yeah, you you know. Have I have I had Garcia marked for a babyface turn? I probably haven't, huh? Yeah, no, you have. Have I? Yeah. Oh shit. Um, let's not have the turn be here because the turn shouldn't be getting elbowed in the face. The turn should be the thing he does in retaliation, right? Yes. Yes, that makes sense to me. So we'll do we'll we'll save the turn for next show. Nick, remind me to turn Dan Garcia. Chat, remind me to turn Dan Garcia next stream. Actually, you know what? Will I catch this? Tune in next week and find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's that's one of the better cliffhangers I've seen. Ah, <laughs> uh, Takeshi is not really doing anything now that he didn't win the number one contenders. He's really just chilling. Uh, hey, talk. You want to steal the show, bud? You want to come out here and just go crazy? Why am I looking at the 
shields. I should be looking at phases. Take a job for uh, Brent and or Brandon. No, that, not a steal the show match. I mean, there are some like crazy steal the show matches I could do, but they're like too crazy. You know what I mean? Have you done Sidal already? Almost certainly. Also, like, who cares? You know what I mean? Uh... Here, let's do this. Kanosuke Takeshita and his good friends. God damn it. His good friends, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett. Taking on Alex Reynolds, John Silver, and Stu Grayson. Ten minutes. Y'all can still steal the show, I guess. Kanosuke. Steal it. And then we're going to do an angle. We're, we'll let them talk a little bit afterwards. We'll just get Don out there. Kanosuke. Again, we will let Kanosuke talk, even though it would probably do better. If he didn't, and then, you know, Matt and, Matt and Mike are out there, too. This is basically just going to call us being like, Omega, just because you got that title shot doesn't mean we're done with you. It's 1-1 one, one now between you and Kanosuke. We're going to settle this eventually, and if you're the world champion, that'll be even better for us. What better way for Kanosuke to win the title than taking it from you, Omega? You test on entertainment? Yeah. Have you been doing that? Yeah. That's why it always gets like a 60. Do you think it would get better if I did him on like star quality or something? I don't know. I don't think so. <coughs> You've been doing it it's fine i just wasn't sure if you had been doing yeah. it if it was gonna make it worse than the it's 60. it's gonna make it worse but i i'm we're getting them over you know if he's gonna be the top guy in the company he's got to talk a little bit you know true yeah uh which is why everyone knows brock for his promos that's that is correct uh Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley could just have a fucking wild brawl with somebody for no reason. Um, I'd be fine with that. Bobby Lashley versus Mark Briscoe is a fucking <laughs> wild. Uh, Bobby can brawl, right? Oh yeah. It it might be Mark Briscoe if we're being honest. I'm telling you, that's that's a hell of a match. Uh, I mean, it, Keith Lee is Keith Lee's like too good of a match though. That's the thing. It is, it fucking is Mark Briscoe. God damn, <laughs> god damn, Val. <laughs> Bobby Lashley, Mark Briscoe. Bobby is winning. It's a wild brawl. That's one of those matches that I would see on the card and be like, you know what? Maybe I will tune in this week. You know what? Maybe they're on to something with this. <laughs> Women, instantly started losing. Ten man tag. Stat lane. That stat lander thing is real high, but you know what? Fine. Hangman watches the TV and then the main event. What do you mean the stat lander thing is high? That's the main event. <laughs> um, I don't think this is going to be as good as our show last week. I don't think this main event will do as good as the other main events, but we'll see. Uh, Young Buck's not on the show at all. Looks like they're working Rampage, baby. Rampage main event incoming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'll... you've got a 57 still here, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll say 76. 73 on this opener. Let's go. With Mike Bennett off of his game and, yeah, well, I can see why you wanted to keep the Dark Order. Yeah, they're fine. 
they they get the job done. I mean, it was <laughs> it was all to catch to getting an eighty, but you know we'll take it. You've done it. I, Takeshi is going to be the top guy in the company. You make it. You are forcing it. Yep. Although not really. Because yeah. It, it, I was going to say it's called booking. <laughs> just happening. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 62. That's what these always get. Oh, my God. Look at what you had this entire I time. know. I, this whole time, I've been like, oh, if I had a guy that could get 100 every time. I do. <laughs> I gotta get 100. Chris Jericho was like, "What the fuck am I, chop liver?" <laughs> you think I can't out promo NJF? God damn! I invented all that shit. He stole all that shit from me. He's doing my bits. Uh, and then he elbowed Danny in the face. Turn him next stream. Turn him next stream. Ooh, ooh, Nick, you were right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a fun match. It was a fun match. I feel like you putting out a promo that, like, you know is going to get... Like, this is my version of that. Like, I'm just going to book Poppy Lashley and Mark Briscoe for no reason in a wild brawl, and it's going to get a 70. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this did better, but, man, like, Eddie, Eddie's not, you know? Eddie's not. Eddie should be getting the 90, and, uh... Jericho should be getting the 71. I I would agree with that. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, 54 in this match. That's fine. Uh, the Chris is evil now story advanced with this match. I guess because Willow is in that storyline? Willow and Riho are in that storyline and Riho interfered. That's what happened. I'll take it. Two people in that storyline. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Brian, she, yeah, Brian just yelled at these fucking guys. Brian's very good at yelling. Yeah. They were just like, sorry, sir. We'll make sure we win, sir. 67. Uh, a lot of moving parts here. <laughs> a lot of, you know, a lot of, a lot of Kevin Coos and Big Bills getting 40s. So I'll take it. Did Trent Beretta do worse than Big Bill? He did one point worse than Big Bill, yes. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Now, granted, this is probably a little bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy because Trent always loses these matches, and I'm, like, killing his momentum. But, like, he's technically a trios champion, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chassis did his hot new move. Punch? Hot. It's hot new move of sitting down. On the apron during uh, the ten man tag. Uh, this segment was just as good as that ten man tag. I know. I'm <laughs> I did that well as well. <laughs> and then at this canon, this happened during the main event. He just, Correct. you know, we we cut backstage and was like, "Oh, there's Adam. He's looking at that television." Ooh, okay. I underestimated these guys. How long did you make this? 18 minutes. Wow. And they well, I guess the tag match. Yeah, it's a tag fight. match. Brock, Darby Allen got his ass kicked for like 15 minutes while Brock stood there. Yep, <laughs> they can do that. There. Brock got in there, got a few moves on Coda. Uh, then Darby got tagged in the... Dar Darby blind tags himself in to get back in and then like, yeah, runs into a... Uh, V trigger, one wing angel, gets pinned. Brock just stands there in the ring the whole time, just like, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, there's places to go with that. Eighty one, let's go. I was, we were both very wrong. This show was excellent. Yeah, this was a really good show. Yeah. I don't think I got you. I don't know. We'll see. See, I was going to say, normally I'd be like, well, you could just book two good promos, but I had two good promos this week. Yeah, you, I mean, you had Danielson and Jericho. Yeah. Which is, like, that, that is probably as good as I'm getting, and I don't... I have an MJF promo. Oh, I do have a Punk promo in there. All right, I'll be all right. All right. Rampage, baby. Okay. 
Can you do me a favor? Uh-huh. A uh, book of young books match. Okay. I don't know what it is, so you can, we can do your thing. Okay, I just need to see if Mark Quinn is a face. I would assume he's whatever the other one is. I mean, Cassidy has turned like two, two or three times. He's a baby face, yeah. All right. He is a cool dude. Got it. Yep. All right. Nobody, nobody can deny. Uh, Matt and Nick, who are they going to face? The, uh... My version of wrestling, like, Jarrett and Cesar and Ethan Page is, like, 2.0 and Jake Hager. Which I am thinking about doing, like, them and Hangman. That is very funny. Have you done them versus 2.0 just in general? I think I have. Although I say that every time and then half the time I haven't. But we can check. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, no, not in a straight up tag. They, they did a six man. See, you've already done the six, man. <laughs> All right, that's the match. The Young Bucks versus Parker and Menard. Everywhere, everyone's tuning in to see that one. I think Matt always wins because he's alphabetically first. Let's give Nick the win. No notes. I don't. I don't think two point is still in the show. We'll just let that one go. Uh, okay. What do you got, Nick? Uh, I would like Private Party to get a win now that Mark Quinn's back. So they could face the guns. Remember the guns? Yep. Colton and the other one. Uh, are, is that, let me, are these guys over? Is this a, is this a bad idea? No, it's fine. The guns, the guns are two over. This is fine. Okay. Remember when the guns were the AEW tag team champions? That was crazy. I try not to. Yeah. It's Quinn winning his return. Yeah, of course. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. Uh, who's local? We got anyone cool over here? We got Bob Backlund. Who's cooler than that? Carly Perez. Oh, I forgot we're in New England. We're in we're in Beyond Country. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is Skylar any good? Hot scoop. Okay. It's Megan. Oh, Megan Bain is very bad. That's a shame. Richard Richard Holiday is like a serviceable person that could lose a match if you want to do that. Uh, no, she's... No, I'll bring her in. I would oh, like her to win. Right. She got really good selling. And that's okay. all I need. Face heal. Heal. <laughs> Saw you go back. <laughs> Listen, you just... You gotta check. Tracer X has some crazy potential on his, his flippy floppy stuff. Uh, he also might be really good at selling. Did Tracer X make this mod? It's possible. Uh... Alright, anyway. What are you doing with Hot Scoop? Uh, she's losing the Sheeta. Okay. Alright, I'm also going to book a match, and then that's it for matches. This is too many matches. I only have angles left. Alright, great. Um, I'm going to book some women that aren't uh, in the two storylines, because they, they're not doing anything. Uh, I, I want to, like, just... 
just like let Siri do something. Wait, Yuka's here? Yeah, she had. We have to let her contract run out so that we can resign oh, right, her. Right. No one yelled at me about that on YouTube, so I assume that's either correct or no one knows, like me. Either of those are very possible. Ah, the renegades, I see. Uh, is Suri... Who was Suri's partner? I don't remember. Oh, she's unimportant. Fuck. Marika? No. I think it was fucking Taya. I think it was for the same reason, because everyone else involved. Everyone, was else, so everyone else had a thing. Yep. Although, if she has a tag match with Taya, Taya would be recognizable, and that would fix our that's, problem. That's what I mean, yeah. No, she's also unimportant. Never mind. I, you killed it. Yeah. Guys, I wanted to just book, like, Suri and Emi Sakura, you know what I mean? I was like, let's just... Let two women go out there and do, oh, go for it, but you know, and Thunder Rosa versus Emmy and Mai. Yeah, Thunder Rosa would be. She would be recognizable, right? You would. You would have to think. You would have to think. Yes. All right, we're gonna do six woman tag. That's what we'll do. We'll cheat. <laughs> we'll do Thunder Rosa with her good friends Sari and Taya. Taking on the team of Emi Sakura, Mei Saruga, and their good friend. Of course, Shade Cargill. Not yet. The trade hasn't happened yet. Let's... Oh, their good friend, the friendless Layla Hirsch. She's getting a friend soon. <laughs> no, she's not. Stop it. I'm telling you. Layla and Marsha. Nope, that's not. Nope, nope. Sorry, sorry, Emmy. Uh, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna let Siri win this. Uh, it's just worse that you just kind of kept calling attention to it too. Yeah, I know. Anyway, Siri's gonna win. This match will be something. All right, we we need to do ten minutes of talking. All right, I have. Uh, or a promo. fifteen, really. Go ahead. There are three three women in my title match uh which is jamie hater of course mm -hmm. benny mm -hmm. rini, rini yamashita uh they are all going to have one-on-one -on -one warm-up matches uh on collision mm -hmm. um haters is going to be non-title of course so it's like this just them being told this or uh, they're, they're given promos and also, like, yeah, just mentioning the fact that, like, oh, in my, in my thing this Saturday, I'll be... So this is, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back promos? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love me some Survivor Series 1990, which I don't even think was a pay-per-view. <laughs> it was. Hyping up tune-up matches you're hyping up tune-up matches is that, is that... you got it <laughs> right. i just i i had to make sure that was correct before i wrote it down because it sounded weird you said it and then immediately <laughs> we're like that can't be right that can't be right they, they can't be uh, hyping up like tune into collision we're gonna have tune-up matches <laughs> that can't be correct uh no it is <laughs> all right uh I also have Nero being annoyed with Swerve. That could be like two minutes. Okay. Yeah, like Miro, I, Miro's just like, Miro, you You made me look stupid. Yeah, I wanted to fight Wheeler Yuta. Why are you making me fight Shinsuke? I don't want to remember that time in my life. <laughs> and Swerve's like, no, man, come on, everyone like that. Come on, man, it's Miro day. Come on. Everyone loves that. Everyone loves Miro Day. It was, it was like, I watched the show. You got paid. Where's my <laughs> butt? No, listen. We just established they don't watch the show. It's fine. To make Miro the one worker who watches the show and is increasingly angry that no one else does. Hold up. That's actually a good gimmick. I'm writing that one down for later. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Keep, we're keep we're keeping this trope of like, you know, th th we kept the cameras rolling. And, or, although this one's going to be more like they walk through the curtain. Uh, they walk through the curtain after the match. Sting's there waiting for him. <clears throat> and he kind of like, you know, gets in front of Darby and he's like, listen, Brock, listen, Brock. It, you know, it was a tough match. You, you don't have to take it out on him. And he's going to be like, yeah, I know it was a tough match. I Yeah, I was out there. I, listen. I'm not happy we lost the match. I'm a little annoyed about it, but it wasn't his fault. I wasn't going to beat him up. We're cool. So he's going to be like, uh, oh, all right, you, you sure? You're not going to attack him as soon as I leave, right? And he's going to be like, no, what? what's your deal? He's uh, he had a hard life, man. Yes, yeah, so he's going to be like, listen, this, this happened to me. With? This happened to be thousand yard stairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, if only we had the WCW library that we could just zoom in and we could do those like overlaid with like him getting beaten up by like six members of the Horsemen or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but it's just him being like, "Listen, I've uh, I've been in his situation a lot, and it, it didn't go well. It didn't go well. I'm just I'm just looking out for him." He's like, "All right, I listen." I respect that. That's cool, but we're we're good, all right? Just uh if we ever team again, win the match. He's like, all right, that that's fair. Poor Darby's just sitting there while mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> he's like he's like dead. He, he's yeah, he's like uh he's on Sting's shoulders just <laughs> dead. <laughs> I can't wait until I give you the tag titles so Brock and Darby can win them. Mm. Yeah, we should swap those at some point. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, maybe, maybe like Forbidden Door, but that's a long ways away. That would probably be a really good time to do that. Yeah, like, like we could do interpromotional where we both, you know, and then we swap them, right? Like my guys listen to your guys, your guys listen to my guys. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that is technically enough things if you want to just run the show. I'm fine with just running it. Great. This is definitely a we booked Rampage ass Rampage. We, this is Rampage, baby. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? A 52 on this match. All things considered. I'll take it, you know? Mai's getting 46s now. Yeah, she's like negative over, so... We, we, we can, might have something. We can work head. with that. We can work with that. Why is as good as Suri? The he only person in this match who was even a little bit over was Thunder Rosa. Correct. So and she was only a little bit better. Yeah. So that that's you know that this is like a small victory. Uh, this was less good, but that's <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> Uh, this was also less fine, but, uh, you know, it's okay. 52 is good, though. I'll take it. And Sheeta keeps it going. Mm hmm Uh, Miro is mad. And the fans aren't upset that he's turning, so that's good. Um, uh, This is not great. Uh, mostly, <laughs> it's really the guns, mostly though. Mostly the guns, yeah. But Private Party did fine. They're about where I thought they were, which is lower on the card than being title contenders turn may french what do you, what do you mean that's a wild fantasy book in yeah I, why would we make her friend we don't even have any other french people in the women's roster that wouldn't make sense you have taya she's not french she's canadian it's the same thing no it's no it's only one it's only one certain kind of canadian <laughs> The rest of them would be very mad if you called them French Canadian. They don't like that. This is going to be the best thing on the show by a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brock Darby Sting. Eh, this was all right. Wow. Yeah, I keep forgetting that the Young Bucks are really good at tag teams, and you could just throw I... them in there in any tag match, and it's fine. Ah, uh, that's not just any. Like, Tubono did better than Private Party did. Nah, that's true. This was... 
This is the exact kind of match that, like, Skiff would tell me, hey, you should watch Rampage. Young Bucks in 2.0 is good. And I'd be like, yeah, man, and then not do it. Sorry, Skiff. 67. Yeah, was... I can't believe you just you just admitted how the hot dog is made right there. You gotta you gotta keep the kayfabe. Listen, you gotta watch the match. He already knows that I don't watch half the things he recommends me. That is not a secret. I don't know how he watches as much. I mean, I do know how he watches as much wrestling as he does. He watches like three things at a time. I just try screen. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, but yeah. That game and two Japanese wrestling companies at the same damn time. Yeah. But I don't know. I am I am not Gen Z enough to be able to watch three things at once. It's it's too much for me. It's overwhelming. I one wrestling show at a time, please. One one wrestling show and a phone to scroll things on when it's there's downtime. That's about as much as I'm willing to do. Is OVW TNA's developmental tour? Or is that an old whatever? It might be old, yeah. Yeah, Nick Gage is here. Ah, uh, these two coming in at the same time. Yeah, uh, Nick Gage is, of course, a beloved babyface. Correct. Uh-huh. Uh, and I would assume the same for Shibata. Yes. Although, he is. All right. Just, just fuck it. The crowd's going to cheer him. Who cares? Right. Yeah. And just because MJF brought someone in doesn't mean that they are aligned with MJF. You are on collision. You are on dynamite. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you should probably handle that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. God, imagine if her and you could just both left in the middle of me doing this giant story. Uh, we're gonna do exclusive. You're, you're, yes. Don't don't go anywhere. That no need to take any other contract offers nope. from the E or from anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. Don't don't leave. Oh no, Daga missed a Noah show. What's the shit? Chris Brooks got injured. Who was bad day in Japan. Bad day. Yes. I think that's pronounced Koki, but I want to say I really want to call her Koki. I, I I think it's I think it's like Koki. It's been a long, long time since I took Japanese. So mm -hmm. you have the, it on me. The, the same way that the New Japan wrestler is Doki when you really want to say, like, Dookie, you know? But it, it's Doki, you know? Oh, that impact has altered the terms. I bet they're shit. Uh, Your offer is the only one they... <laughs> yeah, it's not $400 <laughs> a show. We are offering her like nine grand a month, and then Impact look is like. At, look at the signing bonus. $40? That is Scott Demore reaching into his wallet and going, like, uh, I got 40 I got bucks, 40. Masha. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah! That's so funny. Uh, yeah, no, I think I don't think we're going to alter our deal. I think we're just going to stick. With uh, what we don't want to match the forty dollars. No, no, I think <laughs> that actually that'd be really funny to be like, we'll give you a forty-five dollar signing bonus. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, that's so funny. I'm glad that Impact has is like set up to have to work within their means, though. That, I feel like that's the thing a lot of mods get wrong, is that you could just start a save with Impact and sign everybody and then make Impact good, like, way too easily. Yeah, they should be... It, it should be, like, impossible to get people to sign with you if you're Impact. I mean, not impossible. That wouldn't be any fun. But, like, you know what I mean. You shouldn't be able to just be like, hey, D Dwayne The Rock Johnson signed with Impact, and he, like, he should just laugh at you and be like, what the fuck are you talking about? 
but he did a one appearance. He did do that one. I, which may have been uh, them paying for a cameo, but they he did. He also very clearly filmed it the same day he filmed his, uh, his endorsement for Joe Biden. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Ken Shamrock, yeah. TNA Hall of Fame, endorsing Joe Biden. Fucking potato, yeah, bag, potato. Bag him out. Yeah. Clagging and bagging. Clagging and bagging. <laughs> Rocky's back. Dick to go is gone. Oh. Swings and roundabouts. Mosh is here. All right. Uh, I mean, we didn't really talk about it. We were just like, we should sign her. Do, do you want it's yours? Oh, you don't want her? I figured it was yours. I just got Shayna. So I don't have any. Not that I don't have room for another women's worker, but I wasn't really planning on another. Okay. But, uh, I mean, that's up to you. Well, I mean, if you don't want her, I'll take her. But I'm, I'm just thinking about if I want her as a face or heel now. Because Statlander's the champion. But Statlander would be losing it to Yuka eventually. And then Yuka would need a challenge. Yeah, we'll give her in as a heel. We'll bring her in as a heel. She, we'll... How will she be friends with Layla Hirsch? No, stop it. <laughs> stop trying to make everyone friends with Layla Hirsch. <laughs> She's a good friend. Uh, Rocky's back. How show I'm... and Kanto and Rampage, baby. It's Saturday. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Well, actually, for your show, you're supposed to go Saturday. Saturday. Don't do any more than that. I don't want to get uh, YouTube. Uh, don't say the strike. word Saturday too much, or else don't, Elton don't, John will come down yeah, so yeah. hard on you. Don't say it with a certain like intonation in your voice. Uh, these guys are friends. Yes, microphone worked. Hey, uh, brother, here's how you talk on the microphone. <laughs> I don't think Taz is even meant to be here. He's on your brand. He's probably on neither brand. Huh? Yeah. Um. Where do you want to run? Uh, give me Texas, please. Texas. What? Uh, is that the South? Mid South? Yeah, mid Mid South is fine. All right. Uh, I'm just saying saying things at this point. I'm just I'm just saying things. Uh, Corpus Christi. I don't think we've ever run Corpus Christi. Let's go. Sure. Yeah. All right, Nick. What do you got? Uh, we end with Penta and Punk brawling. Great. Like two minutes. Please don't do Pen or Punk and Penelope Ford brawling. I think it would get over. I'm bro, shaking my bro, head. people would be talking about it, bro. What's Penelope Ford doing out there? Why is she fighting CM Punk? You gotta tune in next week to find out, bro. It does like what is even going on, bro? You know what I mean? That's how you keep the people tuning in. What is even going on is a very good description of my booking anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we are gonna do a tag team match. Okay. For the uh, tag team championship. How long? Sixteen. Jay White, Sammy Guevara, mm -hmm. first. Pac and Andrade. Uh, we are going to have the heels win via partner miscommunication. Andrade bonks a Pac when he's not supposed to. That son of a bitch. Uh, Penta's gonna come out. Okay. This is before this match? Correct. Okay. Uh, and he is going to, like, turn, come with a steel chair. 
put the steel chair down facing the ramp grab a microphone and just say if you're going to interfere in this match come do it now you have six guys i'll take all of you fuckers come on fight me and no one comes it was just him okay He is, by the way, sitting there the entire match as well. I figured. The, and and his boys still lose. You hate to see it. Well, it's interfered. It's not his boy that lost. It yeah. was Andrade. Also, I'm going to do you solid in the CM Punk off screen. Uh, five minutes? Three minutes? Yeah, like three, yeah. He's not giving a full promo here. He's just kind of <laughs> having a chat. Uh, oh, that should be storytelling, that main event. Oh, the main event? Okay. Daniel was right. We are telling stories here, bro. Uh, you know what's not telling stories? No, tell me. This singles match between John Moxley and Andrew Everett. <laughs> you could tell the story. But it's not. It's just them going out. Hey, you two, go have a good match. All right. Just open Moxley wins. All right, great. Uh, Jamie Hader promo. Um, the other two won their matches. Spoilers. <laughs> Are you doing all three of those on this show? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the other three won their matches, so uh, bring out my opponent. And I'm going to show them how a champion wins their match. Mm -hmm. um, and then Shayna Baszler comes out. Oh. Um, do you want Shayna to show up here or just... Shayna could show up, but not rated. And it's like two minutes. Okay. Then we get a ten minute match. Let me see Shayna's stats before I commit to anything here. Yeah. Yeah. I would like Shayna to win this match. Okay. Mm hmm Oh, I should probably book it. Oh. Oh, you hit X instead of... Yeah. yeah. In there. Yeah. Uh, clean... No. Okay. Keep Jamie strong. Okay. This is more of a, like, Jamie's on the back foot the entire time, and Shayna is, like, merciless and also cheats and all of that shit. So, like, super tainted, keep strong type win mm -hmm. here. So the kind of match that doesn't actually get anyone over at the end of the day because we had to work so hard to keep people strong. The kind of match that sets up a title match after the current title feud. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we know. Uh, then we're gonna do a wild brawl. Like, oh, you, you move that match up one, please. No. Oh, yeah. That that make you. Yeah. Is this match a wild brawl, or is it you're doing one no, now? No, 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 no. One now. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are going to do the old NXT title favorite of Shinsuke Nakamura versus Samoa Joe. Mm. You love to see it. Just gonna go ahead and put Shinsuke over. Uh, via interference of book, but yes. Oh. What, when are you doing that match? <laughs> I was going to do it when you do your pay-per-view, and then we'll oh, do the okay. Did I not mention that? 
No, that's I, why I've been <laughs> that's why I've been holding off on. Yeah, it. I was bad. like, why is he just gonna do this match and do the trade? I want the trade. <laughs> right. I was gonna do it after the pay per view, so you All can right. start fresh. Uh, yeah, it's ten <laughs> eight eight. Yeah, I don't know if the uh, the wild brawl with these guys. They're, they're they old men. They old, yeah. All right, uh, you need to set up this trial, so MJF needs to talk for six minutes, of course. Of course. Do you think he's going to talk about being his security guard and getting shoved into the wall? I bet he does. Yeah, Terminally Online MJF gives a promo about something three people know about. Yeah. He shoved me into that wall because he saw something in me. Uh, yeah, he, what he's really doing is saying that Joe is taking time out of his busy day beating Jay Brones to uh, teach Shinsuke Nakamura a lesson in how we fight in America. Sure. Well, I think Shinsuke Nakamura doesn't know, apparently. No, he never worked in America. He's been here for what seven what talking, years, no, eight years. No one's no one <laughs> seen on American television. Yeah, I never... Well, he, he had one match with uh, Sami Zayn in NXT, and then he disappeared. No one's seen him since. Right. Weird. Yeah. It's like that one Jushin Liger match with uh, Tyler Breeze. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. He just came in for that one big show, and then I don't know what happened to him. Wasn't in Japan either. I don't know. Uh, we have a match now. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a TNT title match. Mm-hmm. We are doing Swerve. Uh, triple Threat, sorry. That's uh, my bad. Swerve versus Wardlow versus Archer. L Lance Archer. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Swerve wins. I, I assume he's pinning Lance Archer. Yes. Although he could be pitting Wardlow after last week. Yeah. Injur injuring the man, making everyone happy. I think this is the most TEW stuff uh, that, like, we book. And Tony does this, too, of, like, this guy's leaving. Have him lose. Why is he in a TNT title match? Fuck it, because he can lose. Fucking book the match. Who cares? Like, to be fair, Archer was just in a feud for the team. Title, like right. two months ago, can... two months ago, <laughs> yeah, a lot has happened. Well, this is just a random throwaway TNT title. Who cares? It's a TNT title. You're putting more thought into no it one's ever going to care lives. about it with that attitude, Nick. <laughs> it's your job well, to make people care. <laughs> well, I'm warming up Nero to make people care. All right, uh, but yes, yeah, Swerve gets a win. Okay. Uh, we have a, an angle. Mm hmm Specifically two minutes. Specifically two minutes. Uh, slightly more information on Ricky Stark's injury. What what further in, in, information are they giving us? Like, he's well, hurt. He's... it's right here. See the shoulder? <laughs> That's what's hurt. Yeah. You see here uh, where we showed you the break in the arm? Well, it's still there and uh, it has not healed any at all. It might have gotten worse, actually, because he keeps trying to know. do stuff. I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to keep booking this angle one minute longer mm -hmm. for the next like up until your pay-per-view. <laughs> So, <laughs> I thought you were going to say for like, you know, uh, 10, for, no, for the next 10 months until it's the entire show, <laughs> 115 minutes. It's just a really meta thing that people are now like, <laughs> you know, Ricky Starks has just been slowly consuming collision <laughs> for the last two months. But no one acknowledges it. No, like none of the other wrestlers say anything. No. Yeah. Well, of course he gets 60 minutes for his. 
He's been hurt for 60 weeks. <laughs> What's what's next, Nick? Uh, Vinny going over Jade, please. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, no. Reno over Jade. Okay. I know I booked this like 10,000 times, so I'm just hoping they don't give me the... Uh, oh. you only did it once. And Jade won that match. Yeah. Yeah, no. Rena. Get your win back before she's gone. Uh... CM Punk Town Hall. Okay, great. Uh... He doesn't know. No, six. <laughs> it's a pretty short town hall. This is more of a CM Punk gives a promo about like what the hell is wrong with Penta. Mm -hmm. uh, like you have friends, but you don't want them out there. You are coming after me, but you won't give me a reason. Uh, you're telling me to kill you. Like, I'm a professional wrestler. That's not what I do. Go jump in traffic if you have a death wish. Uh, I, I'm going tell you, if you keep going down this road, I will hurt you. And you will wish you were dead. No Penta. No Just Penta. Punk. Okay. It is very much, I'm keeping them apart for the moment because it is very much CM Punk being like, what the fuck do I do with this? I would just fight him, but I'm, I'm built different. <laughs> Well, that's the problem. CM Punk isn't built different, and he does just fight him. <laughs> He's trying to not. Uh, we're going to do Venny over Britt Baker now. Okay. This is like out with the old yard and in with the new. Look, I had this planned. And yeah, this was uh, this is why I gave it two weeks instead of one. Because I really want to make sure that these this match does well. And oh, I have to change that because that is no longer relevant. How much time do I got? Eight minutes. Eight Perfect. minutes. Then I could just do the match and not the angle. The match is Phoenix versus Commander steal the show. Uh, you're very heavy on wrestling. Um, we'll we'll see, but you you might need to. I can. I, yeah, yeah, I I have one more angle, but the angle I had here doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Also, I'm just curious. Uh, I did this match in August. We got a 67. See how it does tonight. Uh, you wouldn't be penalized. You're close enough. I got an angle, though, that we could put between the Commander and Benny match. All right, hit me. Uh, it is. <laughs> Remember how you were saying Wheeler Yuta is not good at talking? Uh-huh. You're going to have him talk. He's talking. Great. He's talking, baby. <laughs> uh, he's going to find Miro backstage. Uh-huh. And uh, he's going to be like, hey, um, you, you called me out. And then I don't hear anything. And then you're fighting Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, what the hell is this? And Miro's like, well, you know, Swerve, Swerve set it up. And he's he's annoyed, but he's trying to basically talk. And Wheeler's like, ah, oh, I didn't know that you were someone's bitch. And Miro's basically going to grab him by the collar and, like, throw him up against the wall and start beating the shit out of him. And they brawl out the back. Okay. That's the show. That's it. That's what I got. We are you to stirring up shit. I don't know what this show is going to get at all. Ever since I started with Punk and Penta, I just don't care about the grade anymore. I'm booking for me, baby. <laughs> uh, 
I'll say like 74. Yeah, this this is either like a 73 or an 80. Yeah, and uh, and again, I'll just be like, God. <laughs> I think this is going to be a God. I think this is going to be an 80. All right, let's see. Uh, well, off to a great start. Dope. Yep. Very happy. Much better than the first match they had. Uh, maybe you didn't have them steal the show, although I, that's, I can't imagine. You probably did. Phoenix it's is just, just better now. Yes. Yeah. Moreover. He's been winning a lot. This went fine. Yeah, this did about yeah. as well as it could. As well as it Even could. Who was in it. Yep. This went fine. This is better than fine, I would say. I wouldn't. Uh, I think 60 is the minimum for fine. Yeah. Yeah. Betty did well. Betty, yeah, listen, Betty did well. The, the, the problem is Britt Baker is really bad in the game. Yes. Yeah. We need to oh, get that. Oh, Mamma Mia. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. It's me, a Sam Punk. <laughs> What's the deal with Penta? <laughs> Also, why I talk about a Penta, I take a some jabs at the younger bucks. <laughs> yeah, who's he ever beaten? Yeah. No one of importance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 55? Jade. Oh, Jade is so bad. Oh, why did I? Okay. You signed up for this. I know. I was just going to cut her. I know. I was like, no, we can't cut Jade. Mainly because yeah. I went on my podcast and was like, they're big dumb dummies for letting Jade walk. What do you mean there's nothing to do? You never even turned her baby face, you morons. So I was like, well, we can't also let her walk. I mean, they are kind of dumb, but it depends on what the E is paying her. Like, Listen. She's not top talent money. They're not paying. WWE's not paying her $2 million. Like, no She's shot. She's getting She's getting the Cody contract. No shot. She's winning, no. She's winning the Rumble. They're going to send her to fucking NXT. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, look, Becky's in NXT now. Man. Everything, like, hey. who knows what's yeah. going on. In Up NXT. is down, left is right. <laughs> Cats and dogs living together. Ricky Starks, Ricky Starks is hurt. Or hurt. That's our one constant. Ricky Starks is hurt. This heel turn's going to be so good. <laughs> uh, 67. This was fine. What's great is that Wardlow actually hurt someone now. Yeah. So when the heel turn happens, there's truth to it. Just go talk to Caesar and see how he feels. Mamma mia, pizzeria. You're right, this is going to get an 80. I can't believe he did one worse. <laughs> this is, that, that was just Phil playing politics, being like, he's got to get one worse. Can't believe Phil plays politics in the code. Ooh, this was... Uh, Joe and Nakamura did not click, and it made for an awkward bout. Listen, I watched correct. all those NXT title matches. Yeah, <laughs> correct. It, true. They did not click. That is accurate. Yeah. How could two guys this experienced be th this boring? Uh, they found a way. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Shinsuke beating more people from his past. Hey, it's Shayna Baszler. And then? Hey, it's Shayna Baszler. Good. Okay, so Shannon's getting the same grades as our champ. So yeah, basically. Perfect. And John and Andrew. John this, and Andrew. This baby. is gonna get like an eighty-five. The show is. John and Andrew. See, and then oh, this main event. Let's go. Oh no, we have Penta sitting on a chair first. Sixty-four. Uh huh. It's coming. The Penta ninety is coming one day. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna build to that. All right. This uh. Ah, man, Sammy Guevara drove this down, huh? Eh, I mean, he he got about he, the same as Jay White. He got five less than Jay yeah, White. Yeah, he's, listen, he's a, he's a mid-carder. Yeah, he sure is. Yeah. All right. Also, we had a lot going on there with the partner miscommunion. Yeah. That's ah, 73. All 73. Right. 79. Did we tie? Uh, no, I, I I got it like an 81. Oh, you did? You're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. Sorry. You got it. I think what happened for you is, like, you had a lot of matches, but you didn't really have, like, a super good match. No, Although, I, I guess I, I guess John and Andrew Everett was pretty good. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. We had, 
one good match. Yeah. And people are going to go back and be like, hey, remember that John Moxley Andrew Everett match? Yeah, yeah. Where Andrew took every bump on his head for <laughs> some reason. What do you mean for some reason? The reason is he's Andrew Everett. <laughs> you got it this one, though. Did you win both weeks, or did I get the No, you won, you won the first week by one point, and I was mad about it. That's generally how this goes. Yeah, though. that's typical. <laughs> I get the first one, and then I, I, I get complacent. And I also thought my first of... show was better than my second show. <gasps> uh, oh, Impact Hall of Fame. Oh, I thought they died. Together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe what? car accident or something. I don't It's possible. Gosh. Storm must have just retired. Yeah. Uh, Jarlistico got a, a bruised titty. Okay. Someone chopped him too hard. Did uh, the Cody? Mm-hmm. No, he didn't. He did not do the Cody. All right, Nick. I think that's going to do it. I think so, too. I have a bunch of notes for next show, so. Yes, I, I have one note for next show. And one show, and one note only. <laughs> we'll see if I remember. I wrote down Turn Garcia, so we'll Thank see you. if that that someone here will remember. Someone chat. between like the two notes and the chat and like the YouTube comments, you gotta think I would remember, but uh, we'll see. God, I can't wait till <laughs> next week when you're like, fuck, <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, that's good. we'll be back next Tuesday. I'll be back on Thursday for WCW, I believe, on WCW, where I think that's the stream where I'm a week out from the pay-per-view. So I'm pretty sure on that stream, we're going to do Spring Stampede. We got our uh, we got our big six-man tag match. Do you know about the six-man tag I'm booking in uh, Spring Stampede, Nick? No, don't spoil it. I haven't gone back and watched. Oh, okay. I, I was right. ill on okay. Thursday, so... Well, you'll have to watch it at youtube.com slash swarlsfpr. And Nick, when you're there, make sure you're subscribed to get the videos as soon as they upload. You're welcome. Can I have that silver platter <laughs> back that I just delivered? <laughs> and make sure to drop a like on that video too, Nick. Sorry, I turned into Samuel Guevara for a second there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, we'll be back next week. Bye, everybody. Later.